Milking prostates oh. is so good. You never let a girl stick her finger in your ass when you've been banging her. I ain't talking fingers, fists, toys. A finger. A finger. All it takes is one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good. takes is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good. takes is one. one. I love sex. Whatever. I I would go to prison for that fucking dick because it was so good. But it was worth it. Any food. He's had a it's, finger in his foot while he's banging his missus, or just a random bird, it don't really matter. Yeah. It says that it wasn't good. All it takes is one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good. takes is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good. takes is one. one. So just one, just one. So all it good. takes is one. one. So just one, just one. So all it good. takes is one. So just one, just one. So all it good. takes is one. And when you trust someone that much, know each other's bodies to the point where like you're not even speaking anymore. It's just sweat and work. I ain't talking fingers, this toy. A finger. All this is one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all the good is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all the good is one. So one. just good. one, just one. one. So all the good is one. So one. just good. one, just one. one. So all the good is one. one. You can tell her. You can even do the the outside. So like right beneath the balls, stimulate that muscle with your like while you're blowing him. Okay, you've got some skills. We're in the talking yeah. truth. All it takes is one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good takes is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good takes is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good takes is one. one. So just good. one, just one. one. So all it good takes is one. one. And it feels so good. It feels so good for the man. And if you're a woman and you really have feelings for this man or just want him to feel good, like, I don't understand why you wouldn't first do everything to do that. I mean, when I'm fucking, yep. I'm like almost going to cry doing this. Like, we're going all out. Just be cruel to me. Oh, <laughs> It's not weird. All it takes is one. So, just good. one, just one. one. So all the good is one. So just good. one, just one. So all the good is one. So just good. one, just one. So all the good is one. So just good. one, just one. So all the good is one. I don't like guys with fucking naked balls. It's gay. How's yeah. it gay? Well, no, it doesn't. It's not gay. Thing, well, you got hairy nuts. Not super hairy, but like man You know what I mean? Mine are as smooth as a baby. Mine could slide across concrete. You're jacking the guy off. 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 You know what I mean? I live in immigrant housing with a bunch of other undocumented people because I don't have an ID or a social security card or any credit because that's how committed I am to not being human. Society likes to like have an ego, right? And animals are the ultimate form of not having one. What animal are you? Somewhere between a wolf and a kitten. So it's like it's like a made up thing called a witten. I like to purr a lot, but only during sex. And then I just go and like yiff, yiff. Good boy. <laughs> Fuck with us and then we tweak it, ho. Tweak it, ho. Bobby Schmurder gets released from prison, like, in three days. It's been seven fucking years, dude. Like, we needed you. you Keep 6 9 in jail, though, for fucking snitching, bitch. How old's your baby? She's five months old. Shout out to my parents for adopting her. And my, my gay boyfriend for staying in Ohio. Because he's... Bobby, I want you to meet my colleague, Dr. Hamilton. And I don't like you to get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's all get right. out of here. Get out of my room. Get out of here, bitch. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of his room, you dumb bitch. Hi, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Tuesdays with Cecil. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Russell Hall for $2. Starting off strong. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. Let them come. What are they going to do to me that Castro hasn't already done? Uh, member of 
respect Bobby's space. Exactly. Kids got to have a space. Dang. What's up, Patrick T? Very intense. Oh, mm, I like an intense opening. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if uh, Justin Bieber had an intense opening when he was with uh, Usher and P. Diddy. Uh, Cecil's responsible for all of the world's wars. Well, that's Mel Gibson talk. Uh, and again, was Cecil Long Island Kathy Griffin protest? Oh, there was a, I didn't know there was one. I would have been there, sure. Pants off. What was she protesting? Bobby's parents were a bit smothering. You know what? I have never watched World uh, Food of the Gods Part 2, which is what that movie, um, where that clip is from. Uh, I did watch Food of the Gods Part 1. It is uh, basically some fucking thing gets into the food and all the... It was like a really cheap sci-fi movie where they just had like a regular frog and they'd superimpose it and people would be like, it would be like 20 feet tall. All the animals became big in Food of the Gods. So uh, it looks like in this movie, part two, people start getting big. So Bobby attacks the old lady at the end. Is that true? Oh my God. I hope they like, it's really cheesy and she's like a doll and he just rips her apart. Bobby sounds based. Uh, Holy shit, could you imagine? That would be a great premise. Like, Bobby gets, like, recruited to P. Diddy's, like, one of his parties, and they drug him, but he gets he accidentally eats the food of the gods, and uh, he starts growing, and then he, like, murders all of them. Look, like kind of a Hulk story, I would guess. Was uh, David Banner ever raped, or Bruce Banner, depending on what show you're watching? Uh... Uh... C2EC. <laughs> I will be at C, uh, C2E2. Is that what it is? Just Chicago Comic Con. What the fuck is that all about? Uh, William Harris. Bruce was not David. Well, on, uh, on TV, CBS changed Bruce's name. In the comic, it's Bruce David Banner, I believe. And in, uh, in the uh, they 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 field tested it with markets and they felt the name Bruce was very gay. That's literally what they said to uh, I think they said that to Stan Lee. I remember him telling that story where the network executive said the word the name Bruce is too gay, so they changed it to David Banner uh, for the TV show for the live action one. So, uh, Robert Bruce Banner, okay. Bruce is a pretty well. Bru, well, oh, we got Bruce Wayne. You know, no one thought he was gay. He hangs out with that lad, like Diddy, at his mansion. <laughs> uh, Bruce isn't as gay as Cecil. Well, that's true. If Batman aired on CBS, he'd be David Wayne. Correct. I think NBC did uh, Batman. If I'm not mistaken. Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner is all men. Well, maybe, never mind. Master Lions just gifted five Cecil Says memberships. Uh, wow. Who got a membership? They, how exciting for you. You're a member now. You got to learn how to keep your mouth shut. But you're going to get invited to some pretty uh, important parties and meet pretty important people if you just got a membership. But you guys, I don't need no ditty shit. Everybody be quiet. Uh, it was gay when he was always got his scranny ass thrown behind a couch and, and his eyes turned white. Yeah. Um, wasn't what well, some comedian did that routine and he's like, you know, every where this guy goes, he's getting his ass kicked. He comes into every town. He comes hitchhiking into town and within 20 minutes, people are beating the shit out of him. And he's like, at some point they got to realize maybe it's you, Bruce. <laughs> Maybe you're the problem. Yeah, I mean, like, did he have the most punchable face? It's true. I mean, he needed to uh, to be annoying to to a bunch of red. Basically, it was rednecks every week that just were just kicking the shit out of him. But yeah, I mean, at some point, he's got to do a little self reflection and go. Every town I go into, they beat me up. Every single town. 
it's it yeah it's you bruce bruce had that kind of face exactly yeah. had to be i mean he had a 100 percent getting my ass kicked in the next town rate 100 percent. every town he went to he never not, not a single town would let him go through without beating the shit out of him so yeah i am i'm thinking they he's kind of a dick uh joseph adorno uh the was a plan or there was a plan for the fourth season of batman on nbc but they would have fired burt ward and stefford rep why you know it's amazing that like what what got canceled for like low numbers like batman uh, star trek and monsters and stuff like that the low numbers were absolutely astronomical but they but they didn't know how good they were because it was just a time when when tv was blowing up and then in retrospect by the time the 70s they're like why did we cancel that shit it was fucking insane the numbers but they just were chasing that like whatever the the first season or the first they just were like oh it's over but but their steady numbers were so good but they were just looking for the next thing so they canceled stuff really early and uh yeah, Batman was one of them. Monsters, another one. Star Trek for sure, and th- those were massive fucking failures on the part of uh, the networks to to uh, just cancel those things. Only three channels back then. I remember, man. I remember we had in New York we had CBS, NBC, ABC. Then you had the local channels. We had three local channels: uh, five, nine, and eleven, and PBS. And uh, five, nine, and eleven were just all uh, reruns. It was like Odd Couple, Honeymooners, Gilligan's Island, I Dream of Jeannie, Bewitched, Three's Company, uh, Too Close for Comfort. I'm just naming, and uh, just fucking, you know, million million reruns. Those were the the, the local stations, and uh, yeah, and sports. They had Mets, Yankees. Uh, they had hockey, but the boxing matches were on ABC, which was kind of cool. Wild, wide world of sports in the seventies. You could just watch, you know, Muhammad Ali fucking fight on a whatever night. That was that was kind of cool. Uh, had a dot. Yeah, t- yeah. I was the kid. Like when you're the youngest kid, uh, we did not have the remote f- until the eighties. So I was the remote. My father'd be like, "Turn the channel, put on the other game." Let's see what's going on on the Mets. See what's going on with the Mets. See what's going on with the. I'm like little house on the prairie. Yep. Howard Cosell. P A X. Yeah. Oh my God. I want. I gotta look this up on on. I gotta look this up on YouTube and see if they had it. They had the stupidest shit in the world. You would call in as a kid because at three o'clock the cartoons would play. So like from three to six it would be all cartoons. It'd be like, it'd be like uh, you know six six half hour cartoons. So um, th- during that time was I you know that was like the early eighties for me. So it was like all the video games were like fucking all the home systems were coming in. It was like uh, Atari twenty. 20- uh 2600 coleco vision activision all that shit the first generation of all that type of really this is be, before before nintendo uh nintendo broke it all open and then the genesis but um uh you would call into the, the the station that was playing the cartoons and for wpix you'd just they'd say okay you're gonna play the game right now cam raid okay camelot raid Yes, thank you. Matt Grizzly's got it. You'd sit there if you were lucky enough to get on and you'd just yell picks, picks, picks. And whenever you said picks, that meant for them to fire. So somebody at the station is playing a video game and it would just be just kids going picks, 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 picks. picks. It was the stupidest fucking promotion. They would play a video game by voice. Let me see if somebody has to have that. Picks, picks, picks. Oh, man. Uh, This would take me back if somebody actually has a tape of that. WPIX. Picks, picks, picks. W. Uh, nah, no one's got it. That it was the stupidest thing. 
I, I, I remember just as a kid thing, this is, it would just be kids screaming into the phone, picks, 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 picks. Uh, video game. Come on. Uh, Okay. This is piss. 11 alive. Wow. Holy shit, man. All right. I think the sound is going to be shit, but let's figure it out. And somebody's v somebody got it on their VHS. Uh This is you guys have no no no, no idea how shitty things used to be. Never forget Channel 11's game show for kids. TV picks. Airing during commercial breaks, lucky viewers got called to play this game live. Okay, you have 30 seconds to play. Just say picks to score by hitting the moving target. Ready? Go. Picks. 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 Channel 11 would broadcast an Intellivision video game over the air that the viewer would play by saying the word picks into the phone, activating the firepower. The more invaders you were able to strike, the more points you racked up, and the more prizes you could win. That's right, it is Cougar. Congratulations. We'll yeah, Cougar, baby. We'll be sending you a $50 U.S. savings bond. Well, that's fun to have a big winner. Behind the scenes. $50 savings bond in 1980. You are fucking living, my man. But uh, <laughs> this is what... Oh, my God. Everything was so shitty. Picks. Picks. The voice activation was really operators in the control room pushing the buttons. Yeah, of course. It was just some dude. Uh, Michael Tyner. What's up, Michael? It's been a long time. 50 fucking dollars. Well, let's, let's get this party started like Diddy. Shall we? He says, hey, Cecil, love the gaming talk. Best wishes to you and yours. Thank you. Same to you, Michael. I'm going to pour a nice half a pint glass of whiskey. I'm starting to sober up. I got very drunk earlier today. Uh, uh, yeah, in 1980, $50 was like $1,000. Are you, are you kidding me? When you're, tw when you're fucking 10 years old and you won 50 bucks from fucking uh, WPIX, and then they would go straight to like Scooby-Doo. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was cool to win, but it was just annoying to watch. It was like the worst thing in the world. It, it was just what you saw. I'm, I can't, I don't have to explain it anymore. Uh, thank you, uh, Michael. Michael, thank you very much. Good to see you again. All right, Jesus Christ. I uh, I went and did uh, Whiskey Wednesday with Gino, uh, Gino uh, Visconti. He has a show on Compound Media in Manhattan today, and uh, we got fucked up. We killed a bottle on air and then went drinking afterwards. Then I got on a train, came home, fell asleep for like 40 minutes, ate some pizza, tried to like soak up some of the fucking booze and, uh, and then went right on to Camelot's. So, uh, I'm starting now. I've, Cecil was saying dicks, dicks, dicks. Um, it was the precursor to Twitch. Yeah. What's up here? Here he is. Here he is. What's up, Camelot? What's up? It's been so long. Did, did you see that? Uh, you, you're too young to remember. But I was just showing uh, the, the the video game you'd play uh, over the phone if the, if you were lucky enough to get called during cartoons when I was a kid. And it, you'd yell, picks. And at that point, somebody in the studio would press the button. Oh, let's, let's show Cam so he knows what we're talking about. Okay, play. Just say picks to score by hitting the moving target. Ready? Go. Picks. 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 Channel 11 would broadcast an Intellivision video game over the air that the viewer would play by saying the word picks into the phone, activating the firepower. The more Those are not latency. <laughs> what? 
See, how is there not some kind of latency? This is weird. Of course, it's a, it's a dude in the control room playing with a fucking Intellivision. And uh, it, was, it was so dumb. But it would it was like, the funny thing is, you know, you'd have your friends over, you know, you're watching cartoons or whatever. If you cut this and you had a bunch of kids in the house, everybody's screaming at the screen, picks, picks, picks. And it was uh, it's funny because if you think about it, this would be impossible today because of latency issues. So because everything's digital, but when everything was analog, you could do shit like this. It's fucking weird. Like, you you know how you can play like an older game and it doesn't have latency, but you can play like a older game on a newer console or newer TV or something. And there's just latency issues now. And you're like, what the fuck's going on? Why is this like this? That is true. That was the number one U.S. media market was doing this. That's right. That was number one city in the we had we were way ahead of the curve. The rest of the country, you did this over the radio. We were Damn. doing it on TV. Damn. Damn, dude, we did a deep dive. Oh my god, we did a deep dive on fucking uh on my show today about Diddy. It was wild as hell. Cecil was there. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, Bro, we, we, can we stop? Can we stop for a second and like stop trying to co-op this movement of fucking? women trying to claim that oh men don't like bodies like this they say they don't like fat women and then they show shit like this you're fucking kidding me you're kid this she's she literally looks great and she's not fat at all no she's, she's chubby cecil she wears corduroys is making a shit ton of noise man <laughs> I'm saying is 400 pounds. She was and a fire is going to start. That's all. 400 I'm pound women, Cecil, trying I'm to say that they're this lady. By, our standards are changing. Our standards are changing. This chick in the 80s and 90s would be a cow, but yeah. now she's because most women are morbidly obese. She has a nice shape. She's a pretty girl. She has a, a feminine shape, so it's pleasing to the eye. But she's a big gal. She's going to have a hard time in a in a fucking uh, in an airline seat. No! Yeah. Oh, and now you're just fucking being wild. Hold on, let's see. Let's see the jiggle. I mean, she's she's lovely, you know, but there's a lot of meat on them bones. Mm. I'm telling you, that's a big tuchus. If, if she's five, foot, those, if she's five foot six, how much does she weigh? There's, she's got to be one sixty. Yeah, pro Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, probably about one fifty. Yeah. No, women should be. Oh, once they go to one twenty, it should be dangerous. It should be sent to a camp somewhere. No. Stop it from getting out of control. This is a 160. That's that's a big gal. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky. I, I don't like big chicks, but I thought she I think she listened to us. Wayne Gretzky was playing at 165. That chick could check him through the fucking boards. Come on. <laughs> Get real. I don't know. Um, and with my peen, I need a running start to fucking get in there with that fucking much meat garden a fucking garden of goal. Yeah. Um uh, Russell Hall, it's only a matter of time before they come for me. Yeah, I agree. Got this one. Yes. Jay Gat says, I was told fat Cecil is returning little by little, you know, ounce by ounce. He's he's sneaking back. He's sneaking back. There's I'm eating things I would never have eaten a year ago. Oh, my God. You know what I did the other day, Cecil? You know what I did the other day? Bro, there's this um, cold stone cream you know, close to my house. It has ice, you know, fucking great ice cream. I, I, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready to go into a cold. Listen, now, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I was for my birthday. It was oh. my birthday, March 4th. And um, uh, Jesse, she bought two tubs of like my favorite ice cream. It's like pints. They're like this big. And you, you they just fill them at, at Cold Stone with their ice cream. And she took them home. And like that night, I ate the almost the entire thing. Like over two days, it was like over a course of days, I ate the cake batter ice cream, like all of it, because it's so fucking good. And it's been weeks now. And I like was kind of drunk, and I opened my fucking freezer, and there that whole other tub of salted caramel that was never touched. And I like opened it, and I was like, it's just stacked. And I was Is like, it still there? It's still there, yeah. I, I ate three bots out of it at it's my really kitchen island. I ate three bots, and I closed it and put it back. Is waiting for you to get drunk again. I just poured a nice, hefty glass of this is a nice glass of whiskey. So I finished oh this tonight. I'll that's be not floor. straight, right? That's straight. Man, you're oh, well, it's got a ice in it. Got a little ice in there. That's too much. It's too yeah. much, man. That's crazy. I got a, I got, I was at that, that fancy ass freaking man bun guy restaurant the other night. 
and I got two. Much. I but I might have poured a little too much. But when you go to when you come down, we'll go to that restaurant. Um, you'll like it. It's it's got very Cecil vibes, very hipstery. Oh, it's it's bi friendly. <laughs> <laughs> they'll let it. They'll let just anybody in there. Yeah. Uh, Garviel Loken says, when I was a kid, I thought Bruce would only Hulk out when he fell down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he got, he get knocked down and then that's it. A, a couple of times. The first time he hulked out was when he was changing a flat tire. Uh, that's on the opening credits. Uh, he was changing a flat tire and fucking hits his hand. I mean, Bruce, I'm telling you, that motherfucker, every town he went into, somebody kicked the shit out of him. It's a, it's a Bruce problem. It's not fucking. Uh, and and what, do you, what do you mean? Listen, everybody gets mad when they're having a change of tire in the fucking yeah, yeah, in yeah. the rain. But, you know, you don't need to fucking hulk out. <laughs> Hold on. And then they thought he was dead because the car, I think he threw his car down a ditch. And here's the other thing. Why do they think you're dead when your car is found, but your body's not? Like, what do you think? When you evaporated? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like in Harry Potter. You just fucking f- turn into smoke and fly somewhere else. Let me see. The Hulk opening. Oh, my God. Don't type Hulk opening into Pornhub. Um, do, 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 let's see. The Lonely Man. There we go. All right, this is the opening scene to the Incredible Hulk. This was as good as it got for like a nine-year-old in 1980 or 19. Oh, no, I was seven. 1978. Oh, this was this was as good as TV got, man. Doctor David Banner, physician, scientist, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strengths that all humans have. Then an accidental overdose of gamma radiation interacts with his unique body chemistry. Here he is. This is his first Hulk out right here. The matter grows angry or outraged. A startling metamorphosis occurs. Motherfucker's changing a flat in the rain. Yeah. Being a fucking kid from a Christmas story got pissed. <laughs> he wrecks his car. Fucking useless motherfucker. And for some reason, this Hulk <laughs> wasn't bulletproof. So, like, just rednecks with shotguns would just would blast them and he'd bleed and he would bleed but he didn't yeah. die though for some reason no but he would get shot and he'd run away from guns uh, i was like i was you know i i was up on the hulk i had hulk comics by this point i was like i've seen him get shot by a tank you know and i'm like wait that dude just got a fucking shotgun with some bird shot and he's taken off <laughs> Yeah. Is that the one where at the end it was like beep 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 beep? Yeah, that was him going to the next beep, town. Beep. It's called the Lonely Man. That that song. Uh, I've been oh listening to a lot of uh, classical music lately. What was I listening to? Sure a piano arrangement called. Fuck! What is it called? I, I was just listening to it like four times a day. <laughs> See him walking to another town. Why don't they show? What the fuck? Yeah, he's supposed to be just walking down the street. Oh, it's uh, it's called G minor. Um, uh, Luo Ni, uh, Bach G minor. Yeah, he would just walk to the next town and then um, instantly meet a new crew crew of people who would kick the sh- ever living shit out of him. Poor. And that was the show. That was literally the show. Just like- <laughs> Just him get to going to go into a town, meeting like some waitress who needed help, or some some you know, oh my garage is failing or something, whatever. I, I'll help you out. I, I'm I'm new into town. I, I just drifted in, and and uh, within twenty minutes, the local fucking rednecks were just stomping the shit out of him. <laughs> He's definitely not the current he, fucking. Uh, he whole, would just he break would, the world in half. Yeah, he would throw them through like plate glass windows and then like start hitchhiking away at the end of the show. And to, yeah, damn, I killed another one. I gotta get out of here again. Yeah. 
And then they'd be like, thanks, David. Are you sure you couldn't stay? And he's like, no, I have to go. I hope you find the cure. You know, he's got to find the cure. And there was always a, a pesky reporter named Mr. McGee who was tracking him down. That sounds so 60s. <laughs> well, it was 78, but it was it was, <laughs> uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, he, he helped out way too. Like, changing a flat is not, you know, that's way too. It, he overreacted sometimes. Yeah. IMAB said, a see quiet on the set docu-series. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I haven't seen it yet, but I mean, I think we all know these stories, basically. It was like a bunch of fucking uh, parents who were just fucking surrendered their kids over to this fucking gaping maw of Hollywood. As long as those checks came in, they would just throw their fucking firstborn into the fucking pit and uh, let the checks come in and let fucking the weirdos uh, have their way with their kids and look the other way. So yeah, you can even uh, see you can even see that in the docu series. They um like Drake Bell's dad is super protective and always on set, and then um uh, the guy that's been trying to assault Drake for like a year convinces Drake's mom to take all like ownership of his career. And convinces Drake to kick his dad to the curb because he's a bad manager. And his dad was like heartbroken. And he was like, just make sure you do me one favor. Like, never let him be alone. And he's telling Drake, his wife, his ex-wife, Drake's mom, never let him be alone with Brian Peck. Please keep him away from Brian Peck. And, of course, the mom, who is obviously for a reason not shown in the docuseries because she's probably wanting to kill herself. I'm surprised she hasn't killed herself. Um, the first thing she does is she's like, yeah, I'm too busy to raise a kid. So she just lets... Drake go spend the night and stay with the Brian Peck guy, and immediately he gets graved every single night for like a year. Oh. And his it was all his mom's fault. His mom's just yeah, you can just keep him here, have my son, do whatever you want to him. Yeah, she deserves uh she deserves like she deserves fucking prison time in my opinion. And Cisa likes loves to play in a minor. No, a minor. Well, first of all, I, I don't play it. How dare you, sir? Um. Oh, Dan Schneider played the fat kid in Head of the Class with Robin. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Show we had. Mm, that's fucking wild. Mm-mm. Hell no. Yeah, those, the like, I don't know. You got to be crazy to put your kid into show business. Like, I mean, look at what Usher said. You, Usher you was like, did you see. Usher, they they asked Usher, would you send your kid to Puff Daddy's flavor camp or whatever? And he's like, hell no. What about the uh, what about the uh, the the interview of Bieber where he looked like heartbroken thinking back to the shit? He looked like troubled. Yeah, poor bastard. They left him. They they he 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 got signed over. That guy's father sold him out too, right? Like. Well, they knew they were going to get money, and they did. So. Yeah, I mean, he he kind of disappeared off the scene, right? Like he's not doing anything anymore, right? I, I mean, Beebs, um, well, I mean, he's still fucking the. Uh, he still has a billion platinum records. What is he? Uh, I'm sure he's working on share right now. That says, oh, no. or is he just done with with celebrity and just wants to be like left alone? Yeah, I, don't I think mean, it's ever happen. Let's yeah, see. he looked like he had PTSD. I agree. Like he, I, I, I never really. Obviously, I was a little too old for that music and i was never really into pop anyway but i only know one bieber song it's like baby baby or some shit like that or um that's about it but i don't know but i know like he was very young and thrown in with now like you see like usher and puffy and fucking you know being left with them on un- unfucking watched and he looked like we were looking at clips of him on camelot show he looked like he was nine years old he looked like a fucking little kid so yeah, he actually hasn't done anything um in years it's, his last single came out or his last tour was in 2022 his last album was in 2021 and that's it okay i think he's done i think he <laughs> he's I mean, used bieber's music as a lore the the women that I'd be luring with be- Bieber's music now are in their mid thirties. That's who they're. No, 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 nobody, nobody in their twenties knows Bieber anymore, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll... The only song I know is the one that uh, old red haired dude wrote, though. 
boo 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 boo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or fuck yourself, whatever it's called. I remember like ten years ago he got in trouble because he was at the Anne Frank house, and <laughs> I gotta find this. And he was like, "They're like, what do you? What did you think? Did it? You know, what are you thinking? Is it powerful to go visit Anne Frank's house?" And he's like, "I'd like to think she would have been a believer." Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> She would have heard his music and she's been like, uh, the fuck is this? Nine, nine all day, nine, nine, nine. Yeah. She likes piano and classical. And like, and he's like, Yeah, it's all the time you dare to eat on my ass. If he was the funny thing is, if he said that as a joke, I would have considered him a genius. You know what I mean? Instead, it's just he actually meant it, you know. But like that would have <laughs> I like to think that Anne Frank would have been a believer jamming in the attic yeah that was pretty narcissistic for him to say you are hiding justin bieber under the floorboards aren't you (laughs) oh that poor bastard yeah i hated justin bieber you know when i was in my 20s Um, he was just annoying it was so annoying to hear everybody fucking every two seconds you heard about justin bieber but now i feel real bad for the fucker i kind of yeah i don't really know much about him but the video i saw of him today uh Actually, I made me feel bad about for him for some reason. He just seemed like, yeah, he seemed like he'd been through it, man. Yeah, he's like, I just don't want anybody to go through what I went through. And I'm like, well, it's obviously not the money and the fame, so it's something else entirely. Right. He's married to Alec Baldwin's daughter. I thought you were going to say Alec Baldwin. <laughs> he's the one to Alec Baldwin, bro. Alec Baldwin, the daughter that he he left uh, when during the divorce, he started calling leaving messages on her answering machine calling her a pig oh uh Haley b that well her name's yeah Haley, uh, Haley then, baldwin yeah yeah yeah. and then she played the them i remember i remember let me see that oh she's 28 wow she's old as fuck no she's 27 that's not good okay that's good <laughs> yeah i don't understand why god lets that happen i mean 28 is just that's too much yeah they should uh, i'm they telling should... you you we got to start Log- Logan's running these women at 30. It's just, th- we got to make room. <laughs> You're expired. Cecil is wrong again. About what? It's not, a, a, is it not? A, I mean, I've said so many things. What specifically am I wrong about? You got to just tell me. I'll, I'll correct it. Wrong Baldwin. Okay, wrong. Not Haley Baldwin. I didn't know he had more than one daughter. Oh, well, there's it says uh Haley Road Bieber, and then it says in parentheses Baldwin. No, it was Alec Baldwin, man. <laughs> Alec oh, Baldwin. it's I think it's uh her, she's the daughter of Stephen Baldwin. Oh, he was, yeah, it was Stephen Baldwin, different Baldwin, yeah. No, it was Alec Baldwin. Oh, okay. Am I, I wrong? Guess, I guess Google can just fuck off. Ireland Baldwin rose her dad. Oh my god, Alec Baldwin is a weird dude. I mean, the whole thing where he married that woman who was pretending to be from Spain for years, and then they find out, and she's been speaking with a, a, a Spanish. You know about this? Mm-mm. Okay, so uh, he he marries this chick, Hilaria Baldwin. She does like cooking segments, and she gets famous. But she's like, oh, she's from Spain, so she always like, uh, how do you say and uh. And just faking like, yeah, you know, and she, but she would be on, she was doing cookbooks and stuff. And she was on all like the morning shows. And I think she even became a host of one of them. I'm, I'm, I forgive me. I didn't follow her career that, but she got quite famous, met Alec Baldwin, kept talking to him in a Spanish accent. Never. They're married, have kids. And it turns out she's from Boston. She's not even Spanish. She's an Irish chick. She's been doing a fake act. His entire time knowing her has been a complete fraud. Like the whole fucking, her whole life was a made up fraud. Um, and I was like, and, but he, he ended up having like, I don't know, like seven kids with her or some shit. Um, and yeah, she's, she, she pretended not to know words. And how do you say this? And oh, I'm trying to like, trying to think of like ingredients to the food she's cooking. And how do you say it? Dude, just a complete f- fake. And imagine marrying a woman thinking she's from Spain. And he used to say, "Oh, my, I, I, I'm married to a, uh, 
a, 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 a Latina woman. So I know, I know this a Irish chick from Boston, just an Irish chick from Boston that was just faking it. How do you not um, instantly divorce the chick as soon as you find that out? Yeah. Um, it, I feel like on her, like her part, I feel like that would get so like exhausting, like faking that, <laughs> you know, wouldn't that be exhausting faking that shit for that long? Yeah, B. Uh, Clu Cluet, he loved saying my wife is Spanish, my Latina wife. He loved, like, he said that in every goddamn interview you ever saw. My Spanish wife, you know, my wife is from Spain. My friend, like, always talk about her. And now it's like, <laughs> Cecil is divorce happy. I'm sorry, but fucking, if your wife's entire personality has been a fucking put on, and you have, like, I, they have a, a shit ton of kids too. Um, it's so, it's so, these people are all fucking nuts, man. Um, share my screen. This is my favorite animal. It's a sea cucumber. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is. When you touch it, it, it excretes Aww. a liquid because. What does that stuff do? Paralyzes predators. What does it taste like? <laughs> I heard it's salty, but it also tastes a little like grape. <laughs> My God. All right, there you go. Enjoy. I don't know. I thought it was cool looking, you know, like how it squirts when you touch it. Hmm. Right. My favorite part. Her classmates came out. She identified. Yo, she's the first one to do that shit. Uh, let me see if I can forget. I'm sorry if I'm mistaking uh, things, but Hilaria Baldwin. People are yelling at me. You're wrong again. I'm right for this, for the sake of this conversation. Hilaria. Wrong. <clears throat> right. Who's keeping count anyway? Uh, Amy Schumer calls Hilaria Baldwin a sociopath. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That is a sociopath, right? Like you, you realize you married a crazy person. Like who's been pretending um, has an entire fake life. Her, said her parents lived in Spain. Her family's from Spain. Like everything she told you about her life, her childhood, every word she's ever said was with a fake accent. And you're married, and you have like five kids with her. What do you do when you find that out? Like, ah, that that's actually kind of hard um, to be to look at it from a perspective of how. What would you do? Because I mean, if it, let's look at it from a different perspective, if you leave, no, her, no, he he didn't tell her to do that shit. He met her because she was on these. No, shows. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah so no, he he legitimately thought this, right? So yeah, no. He, my thing yeah. is, if he leaves her, then he was only with her because she was Hispanic, or did he leave her because, or would he leave her because she lied? It's hard to say. Monster Mash would banish her to Spain. <laughs> She has a magical cooch. Um, let's see. Hold on. Well, here it is. I, I think she was his yoga instructor or something. Like, I forget how she got famous. She did like cooking yoga. She did like morning show type shit, you know? Imagine being a, imagine going to yoga unironically as a man. Edwin says she's quitting social media after facing major embarrassment over accusations of having faked her Spanish accent and heritage for years and years. Listen to her charming Spanish accent here. Married life is really nice. You know, it feels different. But the accent is gone in this video she just posted. There's been some questions about where I'm born. I'm born in Boston. And then I spent some of my childhood in Boston, some of my childhood in Spain. But her biography on her agency's website states Baldwin was born in Mallorca, Spain. In this video, during a cooking segment, she can't remember the English word for cucumber. We have, um, how do you say cucumber? Cucumbers. If I've been speaking a lot of Spanish. <laughs> fucking... Interesting. Why is her fucking hairline running away so fast? And she's like, oh, I, I spent some time in Spain. No, you didn't. You said you were born in Spain. I don't know. Holy shit. I, you know. How come no one pretends to be white? It's always better to pretend to be Spanish or black or whatever. So... I'll tend to mix them. And if I'm speaking more English, I 
you know, doing the little English, then I mix that. Her birth name isn't even Ilaria. It's all American, Hillary. I'm Ilaria. She had an explanation for that. In this country. <laughs> yeah, I have one too. You're a psychopath. Tree. I would use the name Hillary, and in Spain, I would use the name Ilaria. Alec Baldwin has even imitated her accent, as in this appearance on David Letterman's show in 2013. She was like, really? Okay, I can't wait to see you. That's going to be great. Fantastic. What time? 12 o'clock? My wife is from Spain. Mm -hmm. Baldwin is now defending his... <laughs> it's pretty lame. So lame. She never grew up in Spain. Even her parents were like, no, we're from fucking Boston. I don't even think she had Spanish blood. <clears throat> it reminds me of a girl told me one time she was at a concert and she was, she like faked an Australian accent at a concert. And then everybody was like, wow, you're from Australia. That's great. And she was like, and then for the next four hours, I had to act like I was Australian and it was the worst thing I've ever oh, had to do in my God. life. She was like, it was supposed to be a joke for a second. And then it was just my whole life that night. <laughs> I'm like, that's funny. That's sad. Oh, uh, that's people uh, talking about, I don't know if you know who uh, Ed Piscar is. Um, Pis Piscar? He, he has a, you probably don't, but he's he's in the uh, comic book world. He's an artist for a Marvel and mostly indies. Uh, he did like the hip hop Bible, basically, of the history of hip hop. Got yeah. famous doing that. Then he did X-Men. Uh Anyway, he did a uh, started a channel a couple of years ago on YouTube called K Cartoonist Kayfabe, yeah. and uh, it's a I like the channel. It was interesting, like him and his partner Jim Rugg. They know comics. They're they're artists. Uh, they had good insight. They would go through old Wizard magazines page by page and just talk about shit from the '90s. So I loved it. It was like a lot of nostalgia, and they'd break down art and different things that were going on in the industry. Right. But then he's found out like a lot of the people in the audience were comic skate. So he just was like block, did a mass block on all of us. And, uh, and was like, I don't want to have anything to do with these guys, you know, blah, blah, blah. It, Cause whatever, we're scumbags. We're right wing uh, you know, extremists. Anyway, he, he's like a big anti Trump dude or whatever. So this week it comes out like that. He's been grooming a fucking teenage girl. Oh, no shit. Uh, and it's like, I, I'm so, I hate, really, I don't, I think it's bad to wish bad on people. So I never wished bad on them, but I I have to say, it couldn't happen to a fucking bigger douchebag. A, a fucking, uh, just, just the, the fucking smarmy, like, looking down, like, I'm better than you fucking people. Like, and now he's just like, you know, he's, he's like sending messages to a 17 year old girl, like, Hey, you could be my partners in crime. Uh, you're not a snitch, are you? You're a naughty girl. <laughs> like shit like that to a teenage <laughs> shit. Liking her pictures from when she was 14 and shit. Like, so I it's just it's just he was a piece of shit. And the thing is, I actually enjoyed his show, you know, and then all of a sudden I couldn't get leave messages like on the board, like during the live streams and stuff, and fucking yeah. like he blocked everybody from comic skate he was like oh those guys like he you know we were the we were scumbags and what was this guy's name again ed piscor okay yeah i saw all this shit the other day so i saw ethan was playing i can't can't believe that the the local news in pittsburgh covered it like it was a major story they sent like reporters to his house there's no crime committed mind you you know right. what i mean not even alleged crime it's just inappropriate to talk to a kid he didn't say come suck my dick or anything like that that would have been uh i think uh th th i think there is like a criminal thing for that for sexual contact or sexual pro propositioning a, a minor yeah. there is he didn't do that he just said very flirty borderline shit you know what i mean so for them to tr i have to say it's weird like i kind of with evs on this like as much as I don't like the guy, it's like it's like they kind of went overboard with the reaction of like sending fucking reporters to his parents' house, to his neighbor. Like they're fucking like treating this like uh, it's crime of the century. It's an embarrassment and he shouldn't be doing shit like that. But like, I, you know what I mean? Like the, the, he didn't actually commit a crime. There's no crime. It's just highly inappropriate, you know border yeah it is borderline he didn't actually do anything like he didn't proposition her he was just feeling her out you could tell so yeah yeah 
Yeah, he he didn't he, listen. It, I'm not saying it was not wrong. I'm saying it wasn't illegal what he was doing. So, I think um, it's there's enough there's enough like pedos that with like overwhelming evidence that you can really go after. Um, but I also think it kind of hurts. It hurts. You know, it hurts a little, a little bit. It hurts the overall like scheme of these things when they try to like it's the exact same thing with the Dan Snyder thing for. Um, quiet on the set, the docu series. They try heavily to imply that Dan Snyder was like having sex with children, even though there was not even a, a hint of evidence. Like one person was like, "I think you went off with Amanda Bynes or something." Like that. There's no evidence. He, he did everything out in the open. He was very narcissistic, so he liked to command people and make them do stuff to him out in the open. So if he was doing anything, he would have done it out in the open. And um, there was like not even a hint of evidence to suggest he ever did anything. Um, but there was actual pedos in the actual docu series actually getting arrested for shit. So that's the, that's the the issue, you know. I was, I was like, well, okay, so like, let's call the pedos pedos, and let's call the people that you want to be pedos something else <laughs> because they're not right. Um, he like he had every opportunity to do something crazy. So yeah, no, flirting with a teen is not okay. It, 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 let's put it away. You could get your ass kicked for it or something like that, yeah. but. But it's technically not what he did wasn't a crime, even though it was. Yeah, no. Do I think it's wrong? Yeah, it's fucking psychotic. Like you know, it. It's uh, he's forty, she's seventeen, she's in high school. This is a this is a kid. You know what I mean? And it's like, you, dude, the, there's there's not a shortage of women. You know, fine. <laughs> Can you not find somebody 20 or 25, 30? Yeah. Like you can't find anybody. No, 17. Well, that's, yeah. yeah. Well, so I think it's, like, that's the whole point anyway. It's like, that's the kink, you know? So the- he's, yeah, he, he was 40. She was 17. So it was, it was definitely fucking, but, but technically, but, but here's the other thing. He is a champion of cancel culture. Like he was calling for everybody to be canceled. He's one of those fucking Big SJW cocksuckers. Yeah, it's just always the loudest motherfuckers who are calling. It is, and yeah. They're the ones with the fucking biggest skeletons in their fucking closet. Uh, they're always projecting when they're loud and crazy like that. It's because they're projecting because they think they have to fight so hard in the other direction to absolve themselves of any personal guilt of their own personal lives. So that's why they're always freaking. It's always the same people. You'll see these uh, these activists that are overwhelmingly like yelling at people for being bigots and terrible racists. And uh, they are arrested eventually for um, like having 18 terabytes of like yeah. child porn on their computers every fucking time. Chris Tover has a point, but see, so what if she's like really, really hot? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like 15 year old Bieber hot. Well, okay. Uh, he was 90. Uh, she was 18. Mick Jagger. No, Jagger's not 90 yet, but uh, listen, Ed Piscor is not Mick Jagger. Let me, let me tell you that. For Piscor. straight off. He's very like, he's like unsettling to look at. There's something odd. He looks ill. Somebody who said that we look like a cancer patient. He kind of reminds me of somebody, a burn victim, even though he doesn't have burns. That's he always like, he, he I can't explain it because. It doesn't make sense. But anybody in the chat know what I'm talking? About? Like he reminded me of a burn victim, even though he's not burned. There's like that certain like <laughs> look. That's I don't know why. And maybe it's like the way his face doesn't move or something. Or he just looked like Ed Pisker. Just looks. He's unsettling. Too much plastic surgery. Yeah, you know, uh, Mike D from the Beastie Boys. Something happened to him health wise, where he got like weird looking too. Uh. He looks Ed like Pistor. Ed Piss. He looks like an adult fetus. I can't explain it, but uh, there that was is, always yeah. something. Who? This dude told, yeah, Ed Piscor. Yeah, it looks like he's like was a burn victim that got reconstructive surgery. And that's what he looks like, right? That's so strange. But he doesn't like he's like he's fine. But he just gave me always gave me that. That kind of like feeling of like he he's a guy who's in a fire or something. Uncanny Valley is like triggering the uncanny valley. Like he, he always just was unsettling to me, like his face. <laughs> it's our biology screaming, kill it. 
kill him in his gene pool now. I would, I would just have like acne scars. Maybe that's why. Yeah, well, that, that kind of resembles like burn shit. He just, and he would always like cover up as much as himself. He sometimes he has a hoodie on or a hat right here. He, he always has most of his face covered. Like he just had like burn victim things like he, yeah, he, he just, carried himself like a burn victim yeah exactly. he carries himself like a burn victim yes um there's something odd about him that just i, I always felt he was unsettling he looks like hip-hop gullum yeah and he just he fancies himself such a punk rocker and a and he's just a t fucking disney marvel toady he's just a company man toady and he's like thinks he's like the resistance and he thinks he's so punk rock and he's just a fucking faggot and <laughs> i'm just so fucking i'm so happy Damn. this douche is getting put through the yeah. ringer that he has called many other people to be put through the ringer uh and now he's going through it so it always is weird um i will i always will i always think it's very strange when people that are on like the you know let's just say far left and they carry themselves as if they're on like they're edgy and they're against the grain and it's the weirdest fucking thing celebrities do it too and they're like yeah we like we're fighting the power i'm like you quite literally agree with every banking institution every corporation every like auto corporation um every other celebrity every music studio every you agree with quite literally every single like person on your side that's saying the same thing, but you think you're going against the grain. It's so strange to me. Like, what do you, you're not. Oh no. Yeah. They're like punk rock. And then it's like, I I've had this argument. Listen, it, Alabama is not the same as New York. We are littered, littered with fucking like the most insane liberals. And I'm like, give me an opinion of yours. <laughs> Something you think. That is not the exact opinion of Disney, ESPN, uh, uh, fucking, I named like every corporation. Like, what is, give me a thing that is not, is your own opinion that goes against what big pharma, big, it's your own and you're, it, it goes against the grain. And you call yourself like the resistance. What do you, what exactly are you resisting? You are the company man. You are fucking just a complete corporate and government tool in everything you think about, like fuck all musicians. I lost so much respect for fucking. I was about to say it. Rage against the like, like, machine, man. man D Schneider, D Schneider was. Yeah. Really cool. He was like, you should. We need to start throwing these people in jail for not getting. You fucking sellout piece of shit. Throw people in jail for not taking the the experiment. You don't know nothing about what this shot is. Yeah, you have it was no fucking it was like, idea what this shot is, and you're fucking calling for the for the imprisonment of fellow Americans who refuse. Fuck you. We're rage, not going to take they, it. They, you people were calling um shit. They were paying calling a uh, rage against the machine, rage with the machine, a rage on behalf of the. Machine. Oh, they wouldn't. Uh, Foo Fighters. You're not allowed to go to their concerts unless you show proof of vax. That was great. You fucking phony. Yeah, they they fuck. think they're they they were like they thought they were on the 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 same. They didn't side think of, at all. They know nothing about. Right, that's what I'm saying. They 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 thought they were on the resistance side, and well, it, some for somehow somewhere along the way, all celebrities and all rock stars that were on that resistance side of like anarchy somehow are just far left now. They're like, yeah, uh, the power, fight the power, f Trump. I'm like, Trump's not in office. What do you? Like, oh, yeah, conservatives are evil. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's it's all like every single organization, every movie studio, Sophia, every celebrity, they're please, all like, they're all left. I agree. Sophia, please keep up on your boosters. I implore you. I want you, you need to be quad. I, if you're not quad boosted, please get out of this chat, Sophia. I need you to have your, people. I know people with their sixth one, please stay boosted. Uh, boost often, stay boosted and stay vaxxed. I really, I really want you to. And the, the fact that there's like uh, 17 that that the for the first time in history, the uh, the fucking lifespan has has gone down, uh, starting in fucking two years ago. Uh, the, the projected lifespan of humanity has got, has taken a that has nothing to do. Yeah, 
anti-vaxxers. Remember when a Webster Dictionary had to change the definition for vaccine so they could continue calling um, the Johnson and Johnson and um, the other two <laughs> now I can't, Moderna and Pfizer. So they could continue to call them vaccines because they weren't actually vaccines. They didn't prevent or stop the spread or do anything. It's actually weird that there are people that are still like stuck in that 2021, like talking point shit when the, CD, the, the CDC already released the numbers and they already released all the information. Everything's been exposed by the CDC themselves, by the way. And now suddenly those people that were following that 2021 bullshit they suddenly don't trust the CDC anymore because the CDC. Dude, nobody that they, they did a test. No, no one does. Left and right they, doesn't trust us anymore. They did like a, not a census, but they did like a national poll to see if trust in major institutions. Then they did trust in just in, in professions right now. Trust in medical is at the lowest they ever recorded. Yep. Most people feel betrayed by their doctors. There is not a single person I know who regrets not getting the book, the, the shot, like somebody who didn't get it and regrets it and feels like, Oh, I wish I had gotten it. You will only meet people who regret getting it, who are like, Fuck, I'm mad at myself for getting it. There is nobody who didn't get it and regrets it. Like, well, that, that doesn't exist. When you, when every single politician and every single, every single like Dean of medicine, every, they all have a large standing holdings in Moderna and Pfizer stock. And those are the same people that are trying to pass laws to get OSHA to require every single company on the face or well in the U S um, to mandate mandate vaccines or fire people like those people are quite literally benefiting from doing that because they have longstanding holdings in those stocks. And then there's people that unironically like say, Oh yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> like, dude, what do you, why, why do you think everybody was pushing it and being crazy in 2020 and 2021? What do you think? It's because politicians stood to make so much fucking money, bro. And I wish I would have, God, I wish I would have bought stock and fucking Pfizer back then and then sold that shit in 2021. God, could you imagine? Oh, that'd have been great. But no, I didn't uh, get to catch on because I'm stupid. Um, but there's still people that are still re regurgitating 2021 talking points yeah. like destiny. You see, uh, um, fucking, uh, old cry cry guy Jordan, oh, George, Jordan Peterson he was like debating destiny and of course you know destiny has like a weird bitchy way of debating sometimes destiny has good takes but um he's he was still doing the 2021 talking point of like vaccines are the facts that I shouldn't even say vaccine at this point but that um the covid stuff was like necessary and it helped everybody and I'm like it didn't no. It didn't. It was then, it was a cold. It was a cold, and and it was a bad strain. And if you were in poor health or overweight or old, it 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 hit you hard. Giving it to children was there's almost no recorded, with, with, no healthy child died from it. Meaning there was like, no government. There were people who had other, but but anything you died of was listed as a COVID death. Mm -hmm. a COVID well, it's death. yeah, hospitals were paid like. 36 yeah, 35, grand, yeah, 35 grand per COVID mm -hmm. death. So the, the, I remember somebody, uh, I have a friend who, who run who works at Northwell and she's like, literally during that time period, anybody who walked in the door was marked COVID and, because they were getting so much. It was Free a money. bailout. It was a fucking secret bailout. Hospitals have been losing money because of all like illegals and people who don't pay bills and fucking people know this was a government bailout for hospitals they were like encouraging them to lie because also the more the hospital lied about the covid numbers the more fucking they could clamp down on society and wreck the economy and get and hurt trump that was all this yeah thing. um a good comment in the chats forever lost says i knew a few people that died from it no you knew a free poop free pe a few people that died with it um oh from the jab well that's different yeah um the the actual number of people that died from covid it was like around 16,000 it, 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 people did season. die from it like it did hit people i know i know but it's like it it it, it was really Not rare that you would die that a healthy person would get it, it, almost none you had to have other fucking uh what is it called uh oh god i'm and i'm missing all the lingo from fucking uh, yeah, comorbid 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 comorbidities are fucking uh like uh, other things wrong, other health issues, uh, then you would um, 
you would it, it would affect you like well john mellon almost died like but they also gave him the wrong like treatment they were putting people on ventilators which is like comorbid morbidities thank you uh risk factors yeah mostly obese elderly if you you know fat and they wouldn't say that they wouldn't say like hey being fat and getting hit with a bad flu basically could kill you but it can yep you know yep. it's all almost all the deaths uh, from the flu like every year is obese people and old people the same thing that happened with covid and um the it was the amount of children for example like under 12 that died from covid not with covid um i think was in the single digits the kid, um, and the they had was, and yeah. they had comorbidities and they were still recommending like the CDC was recommending and politicians were recommending six year olds to get vax, and there was literally no reason to do so. Well, that's this what Froghorn here is like. Cecil, where my sister is as fucking true blue, you know, marching communist fucking leftist and asks no questions, government, yes, sir, no, sir. And she has little children, little four, six. And she got them all fucking shotted up and double vaxxed in this. And, and then they started getting some real health problems. And I just kept my mind. I'm not one of those people. I don't fucking say shit. I'm not like told you so or anything like that. I just, yeah, and yeah I've never really so, talked about it. She's so dyed in the wool leftist that I don't really talk politics with her because it's no point. And she said to me in 2023, She's like, I because her kids were having so many health problems. She's like, I think it was the shots. I almost fainted that she would even ever fucking admit that. You know, I was like, this is a massive, like, this person is as as far left as you can get. And uh, she was like, I think those shots hurt them. Like, I think that's because they they started having immediately, and they got, I think they had like four boosters each, those kids. And they were Imagine. little, little kids. By the way, my sister. Genius, Johns Hopkins, genius, one of the smartest, but it doesn't matter. Like you're, it's a cult. It's a cult. Like it doesn't matter. You're fucking, I'm like, doesn't your bullshit that's like, forget, doesn't your, doesn't your fucking just normal street smarts kick in when someone's like, here's a vaccine, but it only works if other people are vaccinated. There's no other vaccine. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a fucking vaccine that only works if everybody's, it doesn't make it like, it only Doesn't helps it things seem odd to you it like, only helps investors if everyone in america gets four of them <laughs> like that was the whole point and like you said it's a cult it's the weirdest thing because you do see a lot of intelligent people fall into this and it's weird because i'm not and i don't consider myself intelligent at all but i I see things i try to see things from all these different perspectives and i have beliefs that probably are in line with people on the left. I have beliefs that are in line with people in the center and on the right. And I can say that and I can say openly what they are and disagree or agree. I mean, like uh, my content was built on workers rights, which is a, a, a easily a leftist view. And the issue is, is people fall into the cult and they can't say one thing out yeah. of line. If, if they find themselves on the pro jab, uh, pro this pro this then suddenly they're all this they're 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 for transitioning children they're for they're for um nine month fucking abortions they're for all of it they can never split the hairs and it's the weirdest thing in the world it's like how are you tribal about shit like try think about in each individual thing and think about it realistically it's so weird i i win literally every argument with this and and the answers come back so fucking bad I just said this. I did this on the air with uh, Bill. You know Bill, who Bill Schultz is. He's a uh, comedian. He was on uh, what was that show with uh, Greg Gutfeld? Red. What the fuck is it called? Jesus Christ! I know Greg Gutfeld. He, Bill. He was his co-host on Red. Red. Fuck. What, what is it called? Was it called Red Line? Red Eye? Was it called Red, red Eye? Eye? Red Eye. Yeah, Red Eye. Yeah. That's it. So he's he's got a uh, red eye. Thank you, chat, and thank you, uh, Red Eye. So he was uh, Bill Schultz. He, he's a funny guy. Big leftist, big leftist. I, I, he was, he's a. Uh, I've drank with him a bunch of times. I was Christie's wedding. For, very nice guy. So we're, he's in the studio today, and, and this is what I. And he's arguing with me, and it's every one of my liberal friends. It's like, it's this. It's so interchangeable their arguments. 
So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, uh, yeah, he, he was, he was at comp. I was on compound media today with Gino. So, uh, I'm arguing with him and I'm just like, and I just say the same thing to every liberal. I'm like, okay, win me over. Tell me where what you want is working. Give me a city that's had Democrat leadership for 20 or 30 years and say, I want the rest of the city, the rest of the country to be this because it's working out so well. And what my friend that I argue with goes, New Jersey. So I pull up the, the stat on New Jersey. 2023, more people left New Jersey than any other state in the entire country. Most of the people that left went to Texas, Tennessee, Florida, and the Carolinas. All red. I said, you literally. So then today I asked Bill. He's, our, he's screaming, he hates Trump. He hates Trump. I said, where is it working? He goes, New York City. And the fucking, everybody just laughed in his face. He's like, crime isn't that bad there. Okay. Uh, Keanu is there. It literally had a shootout in front of her fucking while she was on air uh, in front of her fucking apartment building. She's hitting the deck while live streaming fucking a few months. We're laughing in his face. He said New York as the example of where it's working. Crime is out of fucking control. Taxes out of control. We have migrants filling up the high schools. And this motherfucker says, where is liberalism working? New York City. It is probably ground zero of where it's failing. And he used it. I, we're just let, you, like, you're out of your mind. You can't win an argument because they're on another plane of reality. They're, they're, they're on another plane of reality. Just, just, just out of their mind. Like New, New York is where liberalism is working. Yeah, am I, we're just, we just, you know, there's nothing to say. I'm like, I, there was, someone was thrown in front of a subway train yesterday by somebody that was arrested over 40 times. Dude, the every day I see a new video on Twitter of people in like a New York subway, like fucking thing. And they're getting like shit on or pissed on or like something roll, crazy. Like, dude, roll it. Thank you. That's a great fucking, uh, ex, ex, sorry to cut you off, but this is such a good comment. They're rolling psych wards. Literally, the, the they had the, the the parents of the guy who pushed the guy in front of the subway train yesterday were like, we were begging them to not let him out. We 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 were like, he's go he's been arrested forty times. He's been in and out. We're like, he's going to kill somebody. He's got. They let him out. He fucking grabs a dude, threw him right in front of a train, murdered him. Fucking cold Shit. blood. And it's like, never saw the guy. Had never even said a word to him. Just came up to somebody. Just random fucking murder. It's like. And this motherfucker <laughs> says New York City is where liberalism is working. It's like it's it's the it's the collapse of civilization. And so you can't win arguments with these people. There's no the logic is out the fucking window. I think I'm going to have him on uh, next week's uh, Tuesday show. I'm going to have Bill on. So we're going to get into a bit. I really personally like. And here's the thing. I actually he's a charming guy. I really actually like that guy he's a really nice guy so it's, there's no hate or anything uh that's one thing if you live in new york and you're a, a republican or right wing in any way uh you have to like find the good in people because you, you it's lonely there's not a lot of us here so yeah yeah it's uh i can only imagine um <clears throat> one thing that's interesting is i have a lot of friends that live in la and they told me I've had multiple people tell me this now um, that they're all conservative, but they all openly in their professions pretend to be overtly left. So they uh, oh, yeah. can have more job opportunities. And they say what people do it so much that it's so overt and ridiculous. Like people will walk up and literally like say like a, a current thing like talking point and be like, isn't it crazy? And then just walk away. So like, like they, they keep in good graces. They'll be like, wow, did you know like anti-vaxxers or, um, saying this and this and this, and um, they're supporting Trump. Blah, blah, blah. It's crazy, and they just walk away. And they're all that like a lot of them are conservatives, and they're just acting the part so they can get. You know, people like unironically will be like Sophia was like, "Oh, you guys are anti-vaxxers. You're fucking retarded." It's like at this point you're saying that when you see how. Okay, let's put it this way: before, before 2020, the amount of on-field cardiac incidents 
um, on-field cardiac incidents for people in high school, college, and professional combined was 29. 29. Between 21 and 22, 1,600 people had heart attacks. Uh, Come, give me a fucking you know that reminds me of? It reminds me the of, numbers uh, went off the fucking chart did you see the kids the, are having heart attacks kids did you see the uh call it the uh like the ncaa statistic of um like athletes having heart attacks was up like over a, like i think it was over 1600 percent. we had a dude days. die on the field during monday night football <laughs> two days after he got the shot it's a wild man. and then when they interview him they go what was the cause and he looks off his camera and he goes i can't talk about that when he Shocking. fucking finally had give me a fucking break it, 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 what, oh you guys are anti-vaxxers there's no proof no just fucking open your goddamn eyes there's kids I, like i said my friend who works in in uh northwell she's a big she's like we were having 15 18 year olds coming in with heart attacks We've never had this before. She's in her 50s. She's like, I've been doing this for 30 years. She's like, never saw anything like this. We're having children come in with heart attacks. Okay, there's no proof. What are you guys, anti-vaxxers? Yeah, no, no. Trust, suck the government's dick some more, you fucking maniac. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I hold fat, fat Cecil is returning. Hold on. I'll give this one. Michael Tynan, uh, thanks for the 50. Oh, by the way. Almost done. Hold on, let's kill it. Let's let's do it. Don't kill it, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You're gonna uh, Cecil, remember when Jimmy the Greek got fired? Yes, I do remember that. You know who Jimmy the Greek is? Uh, Cody, you're probably too young to remember that. Jeremy the Greek? No, Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy he was a uh, he was a sportscaster like. Uh, 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 back in the in the eighties, and uh, one day they were talking about like, what did he say? He said, "Yeah, he looks familiar." He said he said something about like how blacks were bred for their strength, and that's why they're really good football players. And he was off the air the next day. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, American blacks are Superman because, and I mean, this is not a point of pride it's not a good thing but it is something that happened if you were a scrawny black dude you were not allowed to fuck anyone and if you were a buff black dude you, only the, the strongest biggest black guys were allowed to fuck because yeah. their kids were going to be worth so when you see like black dudes in america and see how fucking jacked they are they were literally one of the only people in modern times that were bread for strength you see black guys from africa you see just even different places they don't look like american blacks american blacks were actually bread that's not a point of pride that's that's fucking you know awful. Yeah. he mentioned it on air during a football game and he uh, was jettisoned well, immediately well, yeah. but, it, but it is a historical fact that, but it's not like we're celebrating it but like american blacks are such <laughs> superior athletes because they are one of the only people in you know not not modern but within the last few generations that were actually bred for strength like especially you know men were you were not allowed to have sex well i think i think what it is is and just am i gonna get canceled like am i about to become cecil the greek <laughs> cecil the greek no um i think what it the the actual reason it's damaging for that to be said i guess i you know in in certain people's eyes or from perspectives um is that it 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 may be a true thing um but it lessens the achievements of the people like watching or working towards that goal maybe that's like the issue you know well either like, way well, we didn't really earn this either way we destroy in the in the, in the olympic game so you know yeah we get to go away we get to it says usa gold and it says the number beside it so but i think that's what it does is that the reason um Oh, Jimmy the Greek. The ones in Africa are inferior, but the African blacks do not look like American blacks. You know, American blacks are whites have hockey. Listen, what are, what are we pretending not to notice? Like, guys are fucking huge. 
It's good. I, I, I love oh, it. Oh, yeah. What's what's one of my favorite jokes? It's like I work out every day for 10 years just so I can look like an average black guy. An average homeless black guy with a fucking six pack and fucking. Like, <laughs> I saw that real eating day. garbage. Like, yeah, yeah, on Instagram. I saw that show on Instagram today. And it's like I work, it's like I work out every day for the last eight years just to look like an average black man. <laughs> I'm like, damn, man. It's true. I wish I could. So, be true. Um, American blacks are also mixed. That's true. But I'm just saying, like, it is, there is a, there is a reason why American blacks are really great athletes. And uh, I call it the silver lining for that, that whole bad time of slavery is now we have basketball would have sucked. You know what I mean? Like, it's really interesting now. Football he wants to see baseball. Larry Bird's old looking ass jumping up there, yeah. dropping threes. No one cares. Exactly. He had no swagger. Uh, hey, dummy, who made blacks here whiter? Uh, white guys. Uh, so they have white people to thank for being good at sports. Yeah, that's actually probably one of the points. Can uh, that's not what I, I mean, sort of, but I'm not. I'm not sort of saying. Well, that. I think that's what that statement implies, which is also another. Did I say uh, I love Larry too? Come on, but but I mean, like, you know, I don't. Cecil says racist theory. I, is this a theory or is it? That's not a theory. That's a legit fact. That like you. There was actually one black dude whose job, like he, they said he fucked like over 10,000 women. He was like, his entire job was being bred. I forget his name. We went over it on a Jack show one night. Uh, Sounds like a fun job. Yeah, you'd think so, but until you see the numbers and realize, holy shit. Like at some point, you know, at some point you're, you get a job at, at Carvel and you stop eating the ice cream. It's uncomfortable history. I'm not, yeah, I'm not celebrating this history. I'm, it's, it's, it's just a, a fact. Um, but, uh, yeah. Cecil might not be able to run for mayor. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you might want to get off this fucking stream. <laughs> wait, wait, Tim Pool just canceled the sponsorship. <laughs> Do you want to? Would you please, uh, right now, disavow everything I've said as complete uh, hogwash and uh, disavow? And uh, I vehemently you, disagree. And you, you do you castigate me in any way and uh, say for shame? Yeah, but you haven't given up on me, and you think you could you could help me reform? Yes, that's why you didn't leave the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's I'm here for. I'm here to help a friend. Uh, that's help a friend to see the better, better future. A more a more uh, uh, tolerant future for Cecil. We don't abandon our friends here, even if they're bigots. I I didn't say anything <laughs> bigoted at all. I really did. I'm just pointing out an uncomfortable, an uncomfortable. Uh, that's because of you, Pilgrim Media, with your Jimmy the Greek talk. Yeah, I remember. Jimmy Pilgrim, you fucked everything. Okay. Uh, Instant Defense says, uh, "Do you know your eyeballs have a life sentence too?" The fluid in your eyes uh, delate as you get older. You lose fluid until you go blind. Yeah, I think I'm about out of fluid. Um, Master Lo Lion. Why don't I say Lions? Uh, Atari Life. Yeah, ten dollars. Thank you very much. By the way, thank you in the defense for that five dollars. Uh, you just made my eyes hurt with that. By the way, and. Uh, Master you. Lions for ten bucks, much appreciated. That that will, I, for ten, I think ten bucks will finish this. I uh, I quite literally pronounced Master Lions' name in my chat, Master Lions, for like a year, and I don't know why, Master Lions. And I'm like, am I stupid? I'd like yeah. just realize it's just fucking Master Lions. What is wrong yeah. with it? Atari Life? I had a twenty six hundred. I remember turning over Space Invaders. That was like the greatest thing you you just being in the zone with that stupid one button game with the joystick and fucking those motherfuckers when you get like those final boards are just come down like so fucking fast it's like yeah. zzz, zzz, and you would just play brrr, brrr, and you're watching the score go until the score runs out of room and it goes to zero and you're like fucking you're all your friends are screaming you turned it over it was great 
Uh, St. Patrick T, have y'all seen the plus size woman depends commercial? What the fuck is happening? Uh, Cody, you want to look that up for me? Because uh, I have not seen it, but I'm dying to. That means a plus size dump. Uh, Sean says liberal white woman will 86 civil. Will liberal white women destroy everything? They are they are the the worst thing that ever happened to humanity. They will they will vote for their own death. I'm Av. Do you want Bigfoot and Wild Boy same time frame? Oh, do do you want uh, same time? You're only a year older than me, Cecil. Six million dollar man was my favorite. Six million dollar man was dope, and he fought Bigfoot. And Bigfoot was played by Andre the Giant uh, in a Bigfoot costume. Uh, that was pretty dope. And then I, I believe he punches Bigfoot's face off, and Bigfoot is a robot. I have that memory in my head. I uh, there's so many fat like plus size depends things, man. There's so many. I don't know which one it is. For depends. Yeah, like plus size depends TV spot. There's so many of them. Well, pick pick one with the fattest, most diarrhea shit in it. Yeah, I remember. Uh, by the way, I remember uh, Bigfoot and Wild Boy. I don't get it. It's just it's just a, it's just a little bit larger ladies saying that it's a depend commercial, and they're just going out to a club. I don't know. It seems but normal. Then- you don't see them losing control of their bowels at any point. Oh no, no, there's, there's no fun. point. No, what They're the fine. Come on. I want to see. I want to see them like dancing, and then one of them go. Uh oh. Oh, and then go. Dance, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have my depends. That'd be sad. I'm, and just, just emptying, just emptying her bowels. Like it's. I don't know. It feels like. Uh, I feel like making fun of somebody that like has a condition where they're like 30 and they have to wear depends. That feels like mean. <laughs> now, if they're 500 pounds and that's why they, they just shit their pants because they don't care. I, remember, I think it was on Howard Stern where two porn stars were fucking arguing with each other. And like they started getting really personal and they're like, well, what happens is these chicks that do like anal gangbangs, they literally, their sphincter like stretches out to the point where they just shit themselves seems like because a, there's no fuck it, they get destroyed there's that no seems like not worth it and and then the one of the girls is like yeah well that's why you got to wear the pens because you just shit yourself you don't even know when you're shitting and like i was like oh my god you don't even know when you're shitting. yeah i was like oh and they're like yeah they, they like basically blow out their o-ring and uh it sounds like uh Sounds like not worth it, you know. It, it sounds like a lot of self hate to get that far. I don't feel like how uh, it here is. It. Here's the intro to Bigfoot and Wild Boy. If you were born in the '70s, uh, Cody, you would have seen television gems like this. Out of the Great Northwest comes the legendary Bigfoot, who eight years ago saved a young child lost in the vast wilderness and raised that child until he grew up to be Wild Boy. Why can Bigfoot jump that far? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like whose idea was this? Like who came up with the, the goat went up to the executives and was like, Bigfoot yeah, I got this was great like idea for big, Bigfoot was a big part of our lives in the 70s. Like Bigfoot mania. Loch Ness Monster was huge. Bigfoot was huge. Evil Knievel was huge. Um, there were just things that were super important then that just fell off the map. No one gives a fuck about the Loch Ness Monster. No one gives a fuck about Bigfoot. But in the seventies, Bigfoot was a uh, Bigfoot and Evil Knievel were big parts of your life. 
You thought it was like the most. Uh, also, Bruce Jenner was big. Too. Yeah. Can't forget about Bruce. Uh, yeah. Thank you, IMAV, for that trip down memory lane. Uh, Cheesy Terrian says, smart on her. Nobody likes Irish people, especially from Boston. Yeah, good move, Hilaria. Uh, Master Lions gifted five. Cecil says, memberships. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. That is great. Thanks. Uh, Cheesy Terrian says, 100% vax rate if spiked with cocaine and heroin. I would take that shot. Um, Cheesy Terrian, Cecil, has anyone told you to get out? If not, don't. I won't. Don't do it. <clears throat> uh, Christopher, who chose to breed in all their sweet dance moves? <laughs> That is that goes that that I believe is not an American only. I believe everywhere. Um, if I was ever jealous of black people, it would probably be for dancing, like the ability to hear a beat and fucking get in tune with it instantly. I need a massive amount of ecstasy in order to do that. And uh, the but like the black guys I know, black girls I know, like instantly hear something, they fucking groove on it in a minute. Me, I need like if it's not like hard rock, I can't do that. It takes it takes a minute for me uh, for me to even like figure out what's going on. I'm very white. Same. Uh, when I hear uh, almost any hip hop, especially like modern hip hop, um, it like it's like painful. From it's painful. It's like weird. It's like Chinese torture. Like I cannot listen to it. Yeah, it's weird. I I was driving somewhere recently and um a, a fucking random playlist like modern playlist was like playing. And it, it, like hip hop came on, and it's like it's visibly upsetting for me. I can't listen. It's so weird. I don't know why I can't do it. Um, it's jarring to listen to. It's the weirdest thing. Hey, Blue Neptune. Next time you tell me to shut up, why don't you not lisp, you faggot? Shut up, Thetho. I mean, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh. Uh, Master Lions, it's all good, Camelot. Twenty dollars. All right, let now. Can I finish it? That's, Do it. Kill it. Not... Kill it. It's a lot of whiskey. I'm drunk. I'm drunk enough to to be bringing up Jimmy the Greek topics when I know that's uh, ver uh, not verbatim, verboten, verbot. Robotten, as the Germans would say. Uh, Keith Muscleman says, Cecil, look up the scene liberating the town in the movie Glory about Darien, Georgia, I think. How the left sees the world, maybe. I'm not pulling up Glory because they're going to get struck. Struck. But, uh, you, know, uh, you know what's really... If you want to see uh, uh, Matthew Broderick uh, being a uh who was he general no he's like a colonel or something with the with the black uh battalion with uh morgan friedman and uh what's the what's the guy's name denzel no. i um you know what's sad is i was I, I uploaded the shane davis screaming bullshit to um my videos and i was so happy because i love him and i played one um and immediately got struck like the next day and i was like well really? i can never play a shane davis screaming thing that makes me so sad dude i got i had a, a strike for playing my my song my my mike oxmo song they said it was sexual language what the fuck it was sexual uh, as what is it called asmr or is that what oh it's yeah so this song hong huh, will play a little bit of it this is no longer. I got struck. I had to fight it. They took it off, but it, but like my, I couldn't for over a week. I couldn't stream. I couldn't do anything because of this song, which I'm the singer of. Finatra is the producer, and he really put it together. But uh, the song can no longer be played. Oh. 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 Get ready to fall in love. Oh, yeah. 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 O
I mean, to to be fair, (laughs) to be fair, (laughs) it's pretty uh, sexy. No, um, I mean, think about uh, what about um, my my my, I I want all I want out of life is that for that to become an underground hit in gay clubs. That song because it it does kick ass that song. And I just want to perform it live. Do, just, do you think? Uh, do you think uh, Rob Zombie? Gets hit? Us are angry. Do you think Ooh. Rob Zombie gets hit for more human than human every time it plays somewhere? The the you whole like that? first thirty seconds of the song is just a chick moaning. That's what I'm saying. There's so much more, but I got I got banned for a week, and uh, that's wild. I my God, just somebody please, somebody in the gay community, get this to a DJ and. Uh, I want this to become a banger this summer, and I want to. I want to just go around and uh, sing that song to to faggots while they're banging each other on the dance floor. That's my dream. That's my dream. I used to love going to gay clubs in Miami because uh, that was literally in like the '90s and early 2000s, the best place in the world to pick up women. That best. I had a lot of gay friends down in Miami and New York, and you go to gay clubs and you don't give a shit, like. All the strippers, all the waitresses, all the like off staff, they get off at 4 a.m. in New York or whatever. They would go to clubs. That would be like their five o'clock, basically. And if they didn't want to get hit on, they would go to gay clubs. That's and they'd be like half dressed. No one would bother them. And then they would suss out who was straight. And you you could pick up like crazy act like gay clubs was the fucking best, man. Best place. They so used in the to go to gay clubs a lot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking at all. But fu- fucking yo, I, 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 the entire time I went to get clubs, I was hit on twice, and one of my friends was just like, the the one was he just like I asked him one time. I was like, what? He's like, dude, you, you, the way you carry yourself is so not gay. <laughs> Like, you're not gay. Believe I'll, it or not, I, I know I, I sound like I'm, I seem gay to a lot of people, but I feel the complete opposite. You know, when I hang out with you, I know, I know. I think people, I, but but I was like shocked. It's almost like insulting, kind of. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I didn't. I never. I was not their cup of tea. But uh, man, I, I, dude, you, if, if I don't know how it is now. This is you know totally different generations. To fucking you know 20 30 years ago now but fucking back in the early 2000s and 90s if you go to gay clubs man you and you're straight if you're you know not the hardcore ones where shit's like fucking going down you know but dance clubs yeah uh man you will pick up the hottest chicks ever man they they, they love to just go they would take ecstasy and fucking be dancing and it was just like any straight dude in there would be mopping up it was fucking great that sounds great. It was it was good. I had my tricks. Like you know, when you look like me, you need tricks. Another thing I always had was a bag. Uh, I always had an eight ball on me, even though I'm not a cokehead. Don't never liked coke. Always had it on me. Chicks love the way that shit smells. So, <laughs> cocaine perfume. That's it. You know, Perfect. pop cocaine. Go to gay bars. That's it. <laughs> you know, New, York, New, New, York, New York is such a strange place. Yeah, New York and Miami were the were the were the shit, man. That was great back then. Baby face on a man's body. Uh, co- yeah, girls like cocaine. That's a pro tip. I never liked it. I don't like cocaine. I don't. I I like downers. I like ketamine. Yeah, I could see the only benefit of cocaine being uh, losing weight because. Um... Uh, apparently you can do that really easily i uh yeah i would love to be able to just lose weight <laughs> like, but it's I, just... would ne- I would never do drugs nowadays no pills no powders yeah. no nothing like no fun yeah i was it, I, I just fentanyl made it to where i can't i could never even really try anything well you obviously racing out, yeah racing i can't eat any, anyway now but still like just uh Did you see that thing like during football season it was like I think in like January, like towards the end of the season, guy in like Minnesota had a party 
and it was like a bunch of dads, like guys in their forties. And they were like friends from high school, whatever. I guess the guy who owned the house went to bed and was like, you guys could finish the finish the game or whatever. One of them grabbed the bag of cocaine, I guess, to be was hanging out with his boy. They all went in the backyard, did a fucking bump. They all dropped dead. Bros solid in the backyard. The dude fucking lived in the house, had no idea. Only like two days later. When the family came, we're like, yo, where is everybody? And he's like, I don't know. And they're like, his, their cars are up parked in front of your house. Where are they? And he's like, they're not here. They went in the backyard. They were all frozen solid. That's terrifying, man. Yo, you know what I mean? It's like, that's it. Like, yeah, yeah, they just did. They just uh, did bump, got hit with that shit and, and froze fucking solid, man. That's terrifying. It's like, you can't even, you can't be a tourist. You can't fuck around. It do not. It's like it's in everything. It's in uh Juju was saying even by her, one of the kids they had to give him was that Narcon or something. Yeah. Um the kid was smoking weed. They put fentanyl in the weed and the kid went fucking the police got there and hit him with Narcon and saved his life, but it was from a fucking joint. So uh I don't I'm you know, I don't really know much about drugs and stuff. Why is fentanyl so prominent? Like what's the what why did it where did it come from and why is it because it's we're at war and no one's acknowledging it except Trump acknowledge it, but we're at war. They're killing 55,000 people fucking die a year from fentanyl. 55,000 people is what the entire Vietnam war we lost. Yeah. We're losing a Vietnam war worth of young people per year. And it's barely on the news, barely, barely mentioned. So yeah, we're at war and they're winning. They're, fucking wiping out young people they're wiping out people no one talks about it that's wild but so you're you're saying we're at war so who what's is it it's all coming from china and mexico so you think it's like a an organized thing by a foreign government to whittle young we're, people we're down. willingly taking a poison that's killing off a uh, we have memorials and movies about vietnam that was fifty five thousand men died fucking terrible war terrible thing that's per year per year for years now yeah we're losing a war we're losing a war and the, the media is corrupt they're fucking completely owned by china there no one is reporting this shit and it's like yeah china is asshole it is, it is, we are being cold. We are being cold. I mean, uh, the, the whole COVID thing, like we, we have the lowest enlistment in the, in the, in the services in o over 90 years. Low, no one is going into military. Yeah. Nobody of any merit is going into police. It's like, you're being forced to take anybody who's a free thinker will never go into these things. They're being forced to take experimental shots and shit. Half the fucking pilots left. Half they they fired half the fucking military. Now you just have idiots who will do whatever they're told. You have mindless meatheads, and that's what they want. They don't want free thinkers who are like, I don't want to take this shit. I don't want to take that shot. So we have fucking you know they they're getting the army they want, which is mindless drones, just meatheads that will fucking point and shoot where they're told to. Because yeah, uh, yeah. that's wild, man. Yeah, um, I share that uh, opinion when it comes to like forced, like overtly forced diversity shit. Um, I 100% think it's from a foreign government to destabilize, you know, the West entirely. So that's what I think that's coming from. 100%. Because other other countries, specifically countries that would be considered our, our enemies, do not do any of that. They do the complete opposite. So... No. All you do is requ recruit uh, white women that are like age twenty four to thirty five, and you pretty much got you can control the West. <laughs> to be fair, you know I'm anti abortion, but I'm almost pro abortion at this time, and not because I, I, but because it's just liberals fucking breeding themselves out of existence. I'm like, why are we stopping them? Just go. Just yeah. fuck. It. But but they, but what's happened is that is actually what's happening. And the people who are having kids are conservative. So what are they doing? Opening the borders to make up for the fucking loss of fucking. 
you know, the birth rates, the birth rates only coming from the fucking conservative side. Yeah, so, I don't um, understand how there's anybody that exists that's oh, like four open borders and four like hundreds of thousands of people coming over that you don't know who they are. Like it's the I don't know how anybody could be for that. It's the weirdest thing. I think the majority of the people that are for it don't live in the areas that it affects though. It's women. It's women cuz they're like that's they it's all on feeling. It's like they want to have a better life and it's like I want them to have a better life too. But there's no thought process behind it. It's just complete feeling. Well, it's a very 12-year-old kid way of looking at an issue. You know, yeah. why don't we help them? It's like, well, the majority of them are 30-year-old men. And they're from, they're not even from Mexico. Majority? It's 99%. It's fucking yeah. all, it's all fighting aged fucking men. But uh, yeah, it's a, 100%. It's weird when they call them refugees, and it's like, wow, because in the past, refugees were these long lines that went on for miles of women and children. The men were fighting, and they would send the women and children. Now it's just wave after wave of 25 year old men. Like, where are the women and children of these refugees? Why was the last 32 people uh, Chinese? <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Cecil, state your name. Never. No one will ever know my name. His name is Rusty. Rusty Shackleford. Rusty Shackleton. There you go. Uh, yeah. Blacks make up 14% of the U.S. population. Whites don't make up. Well, I think, I think, I think whites make up 8% of the world population. Pretty sure we're only 8% of the world population. We're so we rare. are we are the minority of the earth. We're so just, rare and pure. No, but I'm just saying, like I, somebody was giving me. Like, Let's we'll see. Uh, commenting on that guy who was like, "We're the original Atlanteans. We invented everything." And I was like, "I was like, listen, I'm not trying to be like, oh, shit on your race or anything, but like, you can't give any pro. Like, whites are eight percent of the population. They pretty much took over the world. They at some point or another, they all conquered every fucking corner of the earth. Like, you got to give it up to them a little bit. Like, so you're like, saying whites are like is what you're saying. This guy on this guy on like Instagram was just like, oh, were you blacks are much stronger than white? I'm like, yeah, we're kind of good in a scrap. i was like, we were really good in a scrap, but really good at world war. Like we kind of take over everywhere it went with very few people so uh we're good at chess yeah and it's like whatever but i'm just There's like nothing wrong with i'm not trying to put anybody down but don't sit there and shit on it that's a pretty decent accomplishment come on I, we had wait, napoleon can you can you find out what is what is the uh world population is white i think it's eight i think he's wrong it's not 12 i'm pretty sure it's only eight we it's had only napoleon. going down we had uh, a prominent German guy at one point. Um, we had a <laughs> <laughs> who else? <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson. We got him later on. Um, mm -hmm. Sammy Sosa. Yeah, dude, was great. Uh, uh, it says uh, white Caucasian from the Isle of Caucasus. This group is estimated oh, often uh, ten percent. Ten percent. Black or Africans oh. fourteen. Asians. 60 percent my god yeah, so, so whites are only 10 percent of the world population but imagine Probably. being a pacific islander you'd be 0.5 percent that's real rare that's like gold yeah that's like uh maui right moana it's pacific islander right? yeah yeah well uh, wouldn't that be i i it's weird i consider like what about like the Maori off of like New Zealand and stuff? They're kind of all related, the islanders, right? How far is that? Well, New side? Zealand and Hawaii and yeah, Australia like they're Australia. kind of all, all like the islanders. They're all kind of cool. They hate they hate white people in Hawaii though, really badly. Oh, poor Zia must have got really roasted because she's Hawaiian, but she's white as hell. Look, <laughs> she must have got roasted by the sun. 
You look at look at pictures of her when she was a, like an, an eight year old, and she's just like so white as paper. And I haven't, and I haven't, and I don't want to. She's like white as paper, and has bright blue eyes and bright blonde hair. And her entire family is like in the picture with her, and they're all like brown Hawaiian people. It's it so doesn't funny. matter because like they all, if you're poor, you're cool. And she, they were poor, so oh, so they'd like me. Yeah, hmm. it's socioeconomic, really. Like. Uh, let's see. As long as you're, as long as you're poor. Uh, Travis Hill, glad to see Camelot on here after the show. I think they we call us flipping hail. No, this is the crossover episode. Uh, instant defense. Tell a real story. For once, Cody, will you fucking just tell something that once happened to you? No. All right. Russell yeah, Hall says, I think Z has been roasted by more than the sun. Oh, no. Damn. How could you? Now, tell us. Now, he's saying that uh, he's seen pictures of her butthole. Can you confirm or deny? <laughs> Would you be able to pick her butthole out of a lineup? Oh, that'd be if easy. I showed you four pictures, now you say you've never seen it, but you think that you know her. Oh yeah, her. you could just you could you could tell you'd be like that's hers. That's, that's her. yeah, you'd see it, you'd know for sure. Hmm. All of her Hawaiian part of her is in her ass. Hmm. Sweet pitch black. <laughs> Isn't it funny, like how? How it's a great day if you're looking at somebody's butthole. Just as a good day, like good things yeah. are happening. It's weird. Why did God put the playground so close to the garbage dump? I don't wait. What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Said, why did God build the playground so close to a garbage dump? You know what I mean, like. It's right there. I have no idea. And it's dangerous for the children. I used to play in garbage when I was a kid. <laughs> Who didn't? Weird. You know, I, That's what know. You, I grew up in a trailer park, man. What, what what could you do for fun? You know, it's a good it's a, it's a good question. Uh, no, it's a good day when you're looking at a butthole. It's a good if you're a girl and you see a man's butthole, that's a bad day. Yeah, that's like looking into the Ark of the Covenant. It's just like I said, like there's no such you can't can like oh they're gonna convince you to be gay. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of feel it, but I'm also like that's a tough sell, man. You got to be really you got to have a really good sales pitch. You have to be one motherfucking good salesman to sell, like, to be like, listen, I know you're not in, like I said, both, uh, every man has destroyed a toilet bowl, and we are no, we know the sin that is capable <laughs> of coming out of a man's ass, and if you're sexually attracted to that, like, that's, that's for real, that's not like, no one's convincing you that that was that's, coming, that's coming from the soul. Dude, when I was when I was uh at the gym today, I had freaking the stomach grumbles, and I like stood up and ran to the bathroom and almost didn't make it. And I, I it was like pure mud for twenty five solid seconds, and it was just it's like a full my, mudslide. And my ass was just like clapping, like making noises and shit. Dude, the the the, the 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 just the audio that has come out of like it's like you that's not you cannot sell that. You can't be like oh they convince you like no. You're either into that shit or there's no fucking way, man. Yeah. Now, girls, they don't make those noises or anything. They, I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't even poop. I don't know, man. My friend Jesse, she'll like perk her ass in the air and then look at me and then shake the house. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> like she got a big ass, too. It like reverberates. I like Jesse. <laughs> She's <laughs> fucking gross, <laughs> man. <laughs> She's cool. She's good people. <laughs> Her name in my phone is gross. <laughs> She's one of the boys. I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, glad to see Camelot. Okay. Tell a real story. He said no. 
Russell Hall again for five dollars. Thank you very much. He says, I haven't seen Zia's butthole. There's two T's in that, but she unequivocally said that she started doing explicit pics. Oh, is this true? Is she now doing hey, yeah, like how much? Five dollars? That seems like the going rate for an asshole. Five dollars. Z is such a sweetie. She is. I hope she's not going down a dark path. Uh Coded Swiss just gave me Coded yeah. Swiss. Oh, Coded Swiss. Is oh, that how you pronounce it? Am I pronouncing yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Codeth. That's right. I made that up. I don't know if that's right. Codeth Swiss. No, that's correct. You got it right. Tot he. Katati Swiss? Katati. I like that better, actually. Katati. Katati Katati. Dude, it took me a year. It took me a year to get that one. He had to like message me and be like, hey man, here's how you pronounce it. Go tell me. Well, give me give me your cheat sheet. No, I was surprised you got it right. Katoti? Katoti. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Crowdfund for picks. <laughs> Fucking no. boring. We're boring right now. What do you expect from two sad old men? What do you want from us? What do you mean you're an old man? I'm 20 years older than you. This is like Cecil's fourth show today. It's my son. I love that I met Cody in person a few times. And then he, I never, we never talked about how old I was. And then when he said, you're like, I, I, I thought you were like 34. Yeah. So I had no idea you're 68. <laughs> <laughs> I do not carry myself as anyone who's, a, you know, acquired any bit of wisdom through life at all. I'm proud of that. Uh, he, Cecil's a funny guy. Thank you. Two assholes are talking about assholes. Hey! <laughs> accurate. That's an right. accurate statement. Yeah, I'm 52 years old. But I, honest, some days I get up and I feel 51. Those are the good days. <laughs> I wonder what it's like. So I remember being 23, 24. And it is definitely different now being 34 that uh i definitely am more tired and like over it so does it just get worse like never gets better like you just, just keep feeling like balls you know the the the, the, the end you know there's a question it's like why, why why do men die before women they want to you know it's uh the it's, it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it just gets worse and worse. I, I swear to God, if I, if I, if I didn't have suicide in my back pocket, I would kill myself. You know, if I wasn't such a coward, <laughs> if I wasn't such a damn coward, I'd have done it. But uh, no, I fucking, I, to me, you, you got, you do get tired, but you, I, I, found that men stop aging really at 15 we're all 15 years old which is why you didn't know how fucking old i was not because i was hiding my age i tell anybody who asked but um we're all 15 years old you could hang out with a dude who's in his 60s 70s his 20s we're all fucking 15 years old like yeah. really honestly because i do i'm in gun clubs with guys who are fucking goes from like 21 to fucking 80 and once guys start, you know, hanging out and it, 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 you literally lose track of what age guys are. We're all 15. We laugh at fart jokes. We laugh. This is, goes across the board. Doctors, lawyers, it's fucking guys are guys. Like we're all we are all 15 fucking years old. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty weird. I've noticed that as, as I get older, I'm like, uh, we, that, that's why you don't notice. Like you, you meet somebody you vibe with and you're like, oh, this guy's like. My buddy, you don't even know how fucking old they are. They could be 70 fucking years old. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've been around an 87. You just get a little more tired. That's about I've it. I've been around an 87-year-old uh, man, um, like kind of often lately because racing and 
uh, most of the guys that are like owners of owners of owners are really old. And I think he, I think that stops being true around then. Well, well, also some people are serious people. They're just not somebody that you have ever vibed with. Even at, when if they were thirty, you would have never got along with this person. That's you know what I mean. It's like it, there are some people who are just not you know who are far too serious. You know, there, there's not there's some people that you would never go. But if you get along with somebody, like you would have gotten along with them at any age. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if you're all like on the same wavelength, like if you're in a gun club, you're kind of like a little bit based. You're like, um, you're kind of on the same fucking page and shit. And you're kind of all of the same cut. And really, that at that point, age is is meaningless. But like, you meet a guy in his 80s. It's like if he's an asshole or not an asshole, but just serious and just on a different level than you, it wouldn't matter if you met him when he was 35. He would have been the same guy. He's just yeah, like, exactly. <clears throat> Cecil dyes his beard. What a fuck! What an absolute lie! I probably should start doing that. Mine's getting gray as hell. I started getting gray hair. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess Cody's passing out. I'm gonna let you go. It's two o'clock in the morning here on the East Coast. I'm gonna make me some ramen and lay in bed wow. like a fat. Uh, hold on, let's read a few last super chats. I just want to find out if Z is actually doing explicit stuff, Cody. And if you're the photographer, are you taking, is you in fact the photographer? Yeah, of course. That's why no one knows that Z lives, lives with me. Katati Swiss, Cody. <laughs> oh, Katati. How do you pronounce it? Tell me how to do it. It's K to the Swiss. K to the Swiss. Why doesn't he put um, spaces? I don't K know. That's, uh, K Swiss is a sneaker. Uh, Cody, you better not call me that shit. I'm watching you. Oh, My Katati. Friend. Thank you, Katati. <laughs> You better put fucking spaces in there if you want K to the Swiss. All right, everybody. On that note, oh wait, should I? Let me try and push the thing as as selling because it's really going to end soon. What is it? Cash grab part? part Cash two, grab. It's grab. Just, no, it's not even part two. It's just a reprint. Part two would take effort. I'd have to write another thing. I can't do all that shit. You got to understand, I'm a busy man. I, I'm tired. I sleep all day. So, uh, Cash grab. Second chance campaign. If you missed the first time, uh, I got a lot of heartfelt letters from people. You know, Cody, how I am. I, I am a giver. I give to people. I didn't even want to do a second chance campaign, but I had so many people that said, hey, I missed the first one. I'm having really like negative thoughts. I'm thinking about harming myself. I'm thinking about maybe taking my family with me on the way out. I'm like, oh, hold on. You know, what? I'm going to do a second chance campaign. Let's not do anything rash. So uh, this is my way of giving back to the community. The first campaign did like, uh, what, 200 and how much did it do? Two or 300? I can forget what it did. But it did a lot. And now... Uh, uh, this is just a way because I just see I see a lot of people there so much regret for missing that first campaign. And uh, I just saw like a bloody wave of suicide coming. And I said, hey, I'm going to give back. And so I opened up the campaign. You get a you get the uh, the new cover by Irene Strakowski, which is great. It's got more titties and ass than ever. You could even buy there's a few copies of the original covers available. This is the uh, one with uh, Heather and Lilith that John and Ethan were so generous to uh, loan me. Dirtworm Doug, there's a few copies of this left. But this campaign is coming down. The books are coming in, I think, about three days. So they were supposed to be here two weeks ago. There was a little holdup. Uh, but in three days, this campaign, as soon as I start shipping, I got to shut it down. So you can still buy glasses you could buy books uh 
Three days left. I can't. And I, I honestly, I don't want. Oh, look at this. What's up, Anna? Hey, Fag. What's in here? What's so, up? He sent the link like a few hours ago, but I was packing calendars. Calendars? It's already still doing 2025. <laughs> wait, 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 what are you talking about? What do you mean? What am I talking about? The 20, for the 2025 calendars are going out? No, it's the 2024 calendar. It's May. It's not May. It's March, you retard. Wait. Somewhere. How many of those do you sell? Jesus. A lot. But so the way I do my shipping for international, I have to fill out every single customs form individually. So it takes a really long time. Oh. And oh. then I was at war with the country of Canada because they took all my orders and folded them in half. And so I told them, I'm like, you have to refund me for not only the shipping, but also the product. And they didn't want to. And so I've been fighting with them for the past couple You're not of years. Anything. The Canada, I did. I won. You won. I won because I went into the post office over and over again. And I was like, you're giving me my money back because I'm going to have to reorder all of this merch because you damaged it and you folded it when I paid for it to not be folded and to be there at a certain date. You owe me money. Good for you. I mean, I could, yeah. I'm, I, I stopped sending to Canada when I was selling comic books because I had sold a bunch of Silver Age uh, Captain America's beautiful books in great condition. It got held as medical. It was held. They said it's medical. I said it's all filled out. I mean, there's no reason on earth for it to be held. And then after 30 days, they go, I, they go, uh, we had to destroy it. We don't hold things for more than 30 days. And yeah, no, I, I think my next campaign, there's, I don't think I'm going to ship to Canada, which sucks because I get a lot of orders from Canada, but it's like, I'm going to have to reorder these calendars. It's you know, because I only ordered a certain amount and then I make room for like, you know, some that get damaged during shipping and in case something happens like a, a damaged product. I have it, I'll send it to you. What? I have two if you need one, one. One you wrote all over and said insulting things to me, but I have an extra. You ordered the double pack. You don't need well, to I send that back. To I always try to support my pals. Well, no, I, I'm just going to hit up my printer and say, hey, can you like just give me extras because... I I, w I always order over your order. And this time I was like, okay, I'm not going to over order by the amount that I usually over order. And now I regret it, but I wasn't expecting Canada to fold all these packages in half, you know? They, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, so this campaign here uh, did 41. I have no international shipping on this. This is just for domestic. So what I'm going to do is I ordered, I over ordered and everything else is going to go. The day I start shipping, I'm going to put it on eBay for international because then eBay does all of the customs. They do everything. Yeah. So they buy it. And I'm going to try sending everything through eBay and see if that gets better results. Uh, it just for ease, because basically it's one click. I don't have to fill out all that shit. Like you have all the customs. So maybe mm -hmm. I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe you could do that. For okay. And because it's just, it's just a, a real pain in the ass because every country has different requirements and different things. So it's like, no, I don't I, have this problem with the problem I have with like the UK and Germany is that when people fill out their addresses on Indiegogo, it doesn't ask them for the state or the province. And so I have to hunt down the state and the yeah, province. They do it on eBay. It's got a match. Yeah. When you do it on eBay. It's got the, you, that's out of your hands. You don't have to fill in shit. It's just, I, it's just, yeah. well, it's put me back so far because it, it takes me longer to fill out the order forms than it does to package the actual calendars. So I try just doing all domestic first and then do international. And then I get people going, where's my calendar? Cause then it also takes a long time to get the international packages there, but it's, it just, it takes, and I'm, I do it all by myself. I get so jealous of like everyone that's like, Oh yeah, my wives are doing all the shipping while I'm doing all of this. And I'm like, I wish but I guess that's my fault for not being a lesbian. Oakley Vandal, like it's not your fault. Like I have a lot of cool Canadians in our in our fucking you know chat and fans, but it's uh like listen, you guys got there 
there's less people in Canada than in once and California has more people than the entire country. Their mail works for fine. There are more people in California than in Canada. That's just one state. Get your shit together, Canada. And 90% of your population or more than 90% of Canada's fucking population is on the border. It's all <laughs> right, now. It's right there. It's like, I don't even understand how it's getting this fucked up, but like most of you guys just live right on the border of the United States. But yeah, it's insane. It's, it's the, like you could send anywhere in the world, like anywhere and it gets there, but Canada will fucking consistently lose and destroy your shit. And it's like, you got, what, 30 million people? It's not, like, there's 20 million people in New York. You got, like, like, Well, you know what's funny, Cecil, is I think the only reason I won was because half of my orders I shipped through FedEx, not the USPS. And it wasn't just me. It was FedEx that was going after them. Because I do a lot of, ever since COVID, FedEx stepped up their game with international shipping. So I got a package to Korea in four days, which was amazing. So I think, and also because I do so much orders through them, they see that I'm like a valuable customer. Because I'm spending like not just a couple hundred dollars. I'm spending like <laughs> at least $10,000 a year shipping through FedEx. So they're like, uh, yeah, get her her money back. So yeah. I think I think that's the only reason I won. And so I still have to wait 30 days for them to refund me for everything. So I'm watching them like a hawk and I email their person every single day. So yeah, we'll it, see. 40 million there are 40 million in Canada. Last I checked, there was about 33 million. Mm. Uh Cody, what did, could you find out the population in Canada? <laughs> I'm like Jamie. <laughs> uh, let I'm me do sure it. Canada's uh Jamie. Lower than I, Texas. It's but, 38 uh, million. 38. Oh, wow. They're, they're growing. They're growing. Okay. So get this. In the state of California, it's 39.24 million. Still, mm -hmm. still less than California. Yeah. And you know what? I've never had a single thing sent to California. Not get there. Not one. <laughs> yeah. As fucked you know, up of a state as it is, that's yeah. On the other side of, and we're a northern state, you know, we're close to Canada, basically here in fucking New York, and I send it across the goddamn country to a fucking state bigger than your whole country. It gets there fine. And somebody just pointed out, yes, ninety percent of Canada lives beneath the Michigan Peninsula, so parts of America are fucking for. It's insane. Get your shit together. And it's been going on for decades because I used to sell comics online just because I was getting rid of comics, not, not as a business, but just because I had such a huge collection. And anytime I sent to Canada, I would just, then I just had a, a fucking huge thing shipped anywhere in the world except Canada. That's what I used to put on my eBay, anywhere in the world but Canada. I just had to do it. Okay, well, not you keep anywhere. track of it when you do the ebay thing and you let me know if it works okay because i really oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I i'm at like above and beyond my patience with that stupid country well because i know ethan has like a big uh ebay store and he's like when you do shit through ebay they fill out you know they'll stop if the address doesn't match and you know all that type of shit so i was like why don't we just sell all the international through ebay you yeah know, I, I understand like it, it fine this campaign will come out at forty one thousand, and maybe i'll make another 10 do an international and be like for mm -hmm. for pride or whatever be like oh it could have been fifty thousand. i don't give a shit yeah but uh at this point it's just not worth dealing with canada yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, re the rest of the world is fucking fine canada it's hard uh i don't know i don't, I don't understand I used to work at FedEx and I hated shipping to Canada. They had so many regulations. Yeah, it's just a they're such assholes too. Like for people that claim to be kind, they're fucking assholes. It's like people from Philadelphia. When has anyone from Philadelphia claimed to be kind? No, they're just assholes. I'm not saying <laughs> they claim to be kind. That's actually their thing. 
they're like uh, they're assholes. yeah they like are proud of it they're like yeah i'm from philadelphia so i'm like an asshole and i'm like so like that thing that that that's like a thing you're proud of it's just yeah mm-hmm. it's just how we are and i'm like that's that's sucks you know like in in alabama like we're a certain way texas people are a certain way and like uh your thing is you just suck okay well that's good good to know it's a weird thing yeah, but like i like canadian people like <clears throat> i don't you don't no. i don't know I, I would go to uh I used to go to Caribbean a lot when I would uh, when I was married and would play volleyball. And then you you there's a lot of Canadians would be down there for the winter and stuff. So you go play volleyball and you get we team up and every time like somebody on your team that was Canadian would miss a shot or they'd look at it and go Surrey. They'd Surrey. apologize. <laughs> Surrey. They'd apologize every time. Surrey. Surrey. Sorry about that. Sorry. Every time they like every, a start laughing and be like, you don't have to apologize every time you've like <laughs> miss a point or fucking hit it out of bounds. But it was great. Like they were v- very cool. Women do that. Like women apologize for no reason to people for not like it's the Sorry. weirdest thing. Mm. They could be at a restaurant and they're like the they're like they bring out the wrong thing entirely. It's like, yeah, I actually ordered fried pickles and you you brought uh, a tortilla chips, you know, like I didn't actually order this. And then they're like, oh, I'll fix that for you. And then the girl's like, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. And it's like, what, what are you sorry for? They fucking brought the wrong thing. You don't apologize. What the fuck is wrong with you? Every girl, man. This would be a lot cooler if I was trashing. Oh, I, I can't even bring up his name. It makes my blood boil. Oh. Oh, you ruined my day. Hey, Jamie, pull up that uh, Yaira trailer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, take it. I'm here for Cecil. Start over. Oh, he just got here. So we have to start the stream over. Uh, I got How long have you been streaming? It was just two hours and 20 minutes. But I was doing two <clears throat> hours on Cody's before that. And then I did two hours on Geno's in the city before that. So, so you've been streaming all day? Basically, yeah. So they've been able to watch you all day and they still want more? Yeah. Can't yeah. get Cecil, bro. You know what it's like. <laughs> you're, you're a chick. Can't get enough Cecil. Yeah, but you know. Know, hundreds of people will just watch Anna open <laughs> gifts. <Ew. under>. <laughs> her first reaction is ew. Uh, <laughs> I've literally like pulled up an Anna stream and she's just like opening shit from her PO box. So, like just people give her gifts. That's a PO box stream. And I think it's because I've sliced my finger open and people like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Guys can't do PO box streams because you get one thing every 12 months. No, I'm usually you're, like a, something. Mean. You're lying. <laughs> it's the Gundam does PO box dreams, and it's always just a bunch of stuff for his dog. <laughs> but yeah, he's uh, he's a large creator. So you're a large creator too. No, no. I'm Cody. Large, I'm, I'm sure with your man. Cody with your large gay following, That's you true. could do a PO box stream. Just Cecil does PO box opening streams. So you can't just it, put this all on me. Yeah, I, I my my PO box stuff is. Has gone down, but the quality has gone up. Mm. Le- Somebody sent me, man, they sent me a shit ton of games and old hustler magazines. And uh, Mr. Burger sent me a fucking wrestling belt. Great stuff, man. Like just high quality. But I bring it out as you know, as we stream. I don't do any. I don't do the. Uh, I don't have enough to do a stream for opening. I just kind of bring it out when it comes on. That's what she said. Whoa. Eric July called Cecil a piece of shit. Yes. Oh, wow. Um, this is war. How could he? This is fucking war. God damn it. I'm is that really... like a, a trash cast reference? I guess so. I don't know. Now, I tuned in because I did um, a stream with the, the Star Trek stream, and then I was printing out labels, so I tuned into Ethan's stream. Oh, wait. You, you're doing uh, with uh, Graham. How'd that go? It was great. It was fun. I got into a heated debate about Trek, but uh, What's the debate? and Ron called me completely like devoid of romance. So I, apparently, I'm not romantic. All right, I but think you, I think you have no. You're very your whole your whole thing about peaches is so romantic about how your grandparents <laughs> met each other and it was like <laughs> destiny that you met. I disagree. <laughs> Anna's completely Disney romance to, to the bone. Like she's for, for real. Even the part where like everybody hates her. 
Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> like, that's like a Disney movie too, right? That's yeah. Like, she's like, she's no like, one approves of this. <laughs> Thanks. That's what happened. I was there. I remember. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone approved of it. Everyone was there ready for the party, man. Oh, I'm just saying all the people that spoke were like, yeah, like uh, we love uh, peaches and, uh, you know, we, and it's crazy. We've learned to love how terrible. All right. Well, yes, yes. Granted, most of the people there did love peaches more, including probably me and Cody by the end of the night. But (laughs) fuck you. (laughs) But um, yeah. But no, I would. I wouldn't say you. Well, what 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 episode were you talking about? Where you where you were not where no man has gone before. You're not nerdy enough to know which one that is, are you? No, no, I'm not that nerdy. Enough. It's the one with the like the ESP with the the eyes. So it's like the second episode that they shot or the second pilot. It's where Spock has like the yellow shirt. Oh, still. is this still Pike? No, it's the one right after Pike. It's the first like one that they shot with William Shatner. Remember, his friend like becomes all powerful. It's got the gla- glossy okay. eyes. Okay. So what was the romance? Well, the the girl and the the blonde hair girl and the guy. But we got off to a different topic and we went on a tangent. We talked about, you know, the city on the edge of forever. And then That's if Rose true. on the Titanic should have moved over on the door. You hate that episode the most as the city. On I the do edge. hate that episode because I think he would have saved her. I think Captain Kirk doesn't believe in a no-win scenario and he would have found a way to save her hmm. instead of her dying because all she had to do was just not be there to make america be all peaceful so the nazis could take over so they're like oh she had to die i'm like no he could have just taken her into the future and that way she's not there to fuck up the timeline is sally kellerman the chick from uh, where no man has gone before yes Okay, she was also the love interest for Rodney Dangerfield in Back to School. Okay. In case you were wondering. Thank you for telling me. No problem. I think she was Hot Lips, too, in the MASH movie. Mm. Hot Lips. My God. What a name. Hot Lips Houlihan. I eat Hot Lips. I'm going to go uh, make ramen. Mm. Hi, bitches. All right, Cody. Even you bitches. Bye. Bye, y'all. What do you mean, y'all? Are all of you leaving, or is it just me? No, we're. Well, I'll stay with Anna for a minute. She just got here. <laughs> you know, well, don't you have to read super chats? Oh. oh. I got no. Oh wait, I do. Hold on. Has to flash for ten dollars. Thank you very much, sir. He said Cecil use FedEx. When you put your stuff on eBay, stuff I order from B. Sanderson goes through FedEx and gets here in three to four days. People who use USPS takes three to four weeks to me in Australia on eBay. So, okay, I haven't done this yet, but um, so what you're saying is when you sell stuff on eBay, you can, you can, you get to pick the shipping, I think. Okay. I'll put FedEx. That's fine. All right, good, no, good. Honestly, Cecil, FedEx is so much better. Ever since COVID, FedEx upped their game. And so, like, I sent uh, Jeff uh, his order, and he lives in Korea. It got there in four days. So, I dropped it off on Monday. He had it Friday morning. Now, I uh, I sold I sold that picture to, to great, raise money for Graham's uh, daughter who had the house fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, the picture of you giving birth with po- and pooping. Oh, thank you for that. Two hundred dollars for that, by the way. Oh, who bought that? An anonymous donor. Uh, who in bought a- it in Australia? If you're in the chat, so- who bought that? <laughs> somebody in Australia. What was their name? Paul Hogan. Uh huh. Sure. Kate. Kate. Uh- a toti swiss let's see if anna can at least say my name properly can you can you say this person's name properly k to the swiss there you go she was listening she was lying 
you, you were listening, weren't you? It was Raging Rhino. Yep. He got it. Raging Rhino bought that? Yep. Oh, I don't believe that. It's one of the few. By the way, uh, Ethan was talking about doing a, a, a drawing stream with um, John and Shane. And he completely, I saw that. completely left me out. You know, it's because they don't want to be upstaged by you. No, I uh, hold on. That's what I think. People are afraid of what they don't understand. Mm hmm. The and I, I said to him, you know, I, I said just a simple ahem and just gave a little retrospective of a few of my pieces that sold oh my for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Here's my Venom Cecil. Oh my god. Hello there. The detail is amazing. I even have the bluebird that was on Uncle the, Remus. Even the nipples and everything. Yeah. This is some of my greatest work. Just mm. and I, 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 you know, I did this in what twenty minutes. Yeah, you see, I'm telling you, they just don't want to be upstaged by you. Here is uh, my Shane Davis. Look at that, even the Yanzi tattoo. Mm. Hey, do you know what time you're getting to Chicago? Um, I could I could look it up. Here is a. Uh, Inspired by Anna, girl, girl, Illa. Thanks. <laughs> Soon also, guys, just just be aware if you order and have it shipped to a PO box, FedEx does not ship, and that sucks. And also, this was uh, me raping a shark, and uh, this is Cecil. With spelt with the C because it's nautical, but you could can you not? Great art is supposed to evoke a feeling, correct? Anna, you're an artist. <laughs> now, when you look in, when you look in, in the eye of the shark, what do you feel? Uncomfortableness. I'm just saying, like, you know, Quint in Jaws said, uh, uh a shark's eyes is a doll's eyes, lifeless eyes. And I had to do the impossible, which was give life to the lifeless. And those those two teardrops coming from the shark. You did it. Yeah. Just this just took me 10 minutes. You know, and and I think my talent scares people. I think it does too. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't, I hate being left out, but uh, I think it says more about them than it does about me. Yeah. You've never invited me on a drawing stream either. I've never had a drawing stream. You paint all the time. That's an art stream, not a drawing stream. And I used to invite you guys all the time when I streamed on YouTube, but when I stream on Twitch, I don't use StreamYards. I use StreamLabs, so there's no link for me to send out to people. They're scared. <laughs> Cecil, have you been drinking? Are you joking? I drank an entire pint glass of whiskey during this stream. I just oh. poured some more. I've been drinking all day. Oh, here's Captain Chokeout. Hello. Chokeout. Morning. You're live. Hello. What? Where are you? Are you in England or in the no. States? No, it's my usual setting. I'm back home. You're back home. Okay. Do you still have the munchkin? No, he's gone. He's back now. Ah. Yeah, he's gone. So uh, you were showing us that chick you met down in Miami from New York, man. I met two. I did. Listen, I did really fucking well. Did you go to Winter Music Conference? No, I um, my, my boss was there the night before I flew in. They fucking smashed it though. And then I went because by the time I landed in uh, Palm Beach in Miami and got to Palm Beach, it was like half eleven. So I dropped him off to his mom, and then went straight to Twin Peaks. And I was and I was I was getting uh 
I always go to Twin Peaks. It's fucking know, great. Yeah. Isn't it? you always say, yeah, there's always pretty good looking chicks in there too, man. Yeah, so listen, I was on the fucking I was on the phone to my boy at the bar and he said the same result. Did you go to the winter conference? Like I was no, no, no. And I said, like, I said my boss was there. And she and the, the bird behind the bar just looks up straight away and she goes, Did you say da da da? And I said, Yeah, I goes, Why are you pretending like you know who they are? Because you're you know, you're American. And she started reeling off all their fucking songs. Mm. And I was like, oh, fucking hell, I work for them. And she yeah, didn't believe me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I work for them. And I showed her my fucking Instagram. And that was it. Boom. In. And then, like, and then, and then, but she was only 23. And then the, the next day. So boom. old. Yeah, a bit old. No, no, the, the new one's 32, though. Mm. She, got, she catches sharks and shit. Yeah, that one was interesting. The the she was she's kind of buff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is. Yeah, like so. Fucking, I was lay, I was laying in the pool in the Hilton, and this fucking chick just came over and just got on the fucking lounger next to me, and she just started fucking talking to me, and then yeah, that was it. I was with her all day. We went for dinner and shit, and uh, I think I'm gonna start dating her. To be honest with you. Oh. I'm gonna be coming to New York, or is she going down Florida? She uh, goes between the two, but she's an interior designer, and a lot of her clients are like like big boat owners and shit. Down Isn't that there. funny? She's designing interiors, and all you want to do is wreck hers. Absolutely mm-hmm. painting her interior. <laughs> but... <laughs> At least you have goals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's class though. She goes like she she goes like all sorts of fishing and stuff. You ever seen that Australian chick that's really famous online? She she she's yeah. like that. Yeah, she's like her. <laughs> uh, so when does she move into Florida? Um, she she's always she's in between all the time. Like she's backwards and forwards because she's got like she lives in quite a big house in New York. And how old is this one? Thirty-two. Massive mm. Trump supporter as well. Massive. Mm. Based, yeah. Choke out. Are you gonna do the pizza eating contest with us tomorrow? Probably not. I'll probably be asleep, Anna. But like, what time? I can't be waking up at four in the morning and eating a huge pizza. <laughs> we're doing oh, it. At, yeah, we're doing it. At Why 10. not? <laughs> we're do- that's literally four in the morning. Yeah, we're doing it at ten. So. Look, I got sunburn. Look, you see all that. What's that red thing on your side? That's well, sunburn. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's it's like that looks like a burn, or is that part of your shirt? Oh, it was sorry, it was no, your shirt. Your shirt's got red oh, on it, so it looked like you had like a red line up your side. Two hours ago, fried. Ugh. Um, Travis Joe says racists have the tightest pussy. That's great, isn't it? Oh my god! Absolutely great. And are you a racist? No. No. That's Winsock. Winsock. has like, never complained. Oh, so <laughs> she's like, "God damn it! How do I answer?" This? No one can. No one's <laughs> gonna complain. Well, am, face right. up. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, but I think if your if your stuff is blown out, a guy's not going to call you back. Well, it depends how dirty you are, doesn't it? Uh, I guess so. Done it. You got to take the rough with the smooth. Depends <laughs> how dirty you are, done it. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking love it. Wait, so I love America. Hey, hey, Choco, are you going to come to C2E2? Possibly not now because I think I'm gonna have to go to fucking. I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna. Oh no, you have to understand. I might be going to go meet this bird in Florida. Tell her to come to see two e two. I can't do that. Dude, he wants Can to get imagine, laid. You, bringing her a comic. He finds out about all my antics. <laughs> oh, they're taking it, somebody. Oh, are you are you I, the, the lady in the it, string of girls? Wait a second, choke out. It's like one of the only times John is leaving his house. You don't want to come and hang out with all of us. It's yeah, no, it's, no, 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 no. I, 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 mean, I, don't want to. I saw the girl go to Florida. <laughs> She's fucking hot. Did you see? Did you see the one from Twin Peaks as well, though? 
I'm going to quote your boss here. They're all hot, Choke Out. Come and hang out with us. I know, but fuck me. The ass on the fucking little one from Twin Peaks was unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. Our Filipina. Oh, my God. Dude. We're you losing. Gotta, you got to keep this part of your life completely fucking... I was dating girls the last few years, you know, they, no idea about Cecil, no idea about comic book, no idea about YouTube, no idea about any of this shit. You know, Juju's like, good, I can let down my guard because she knows about this. So it's that's really like really comfortable to like just be able. But yeah, you you can't let them know about this. Insane. Not yet. You, you got, <laughs> they can only find out. They can only find out when it's too late. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. Look, she's not no, she's just, look, but look, she's aware. It's 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 nice to have somebody like who, yeah. You can't explain this to somebody. You meet somebody, you start dating them, and be like, oh, by the way, I wear a mask and, and I like like you're done. Like the what? And we talk about comics for fifteen hours a night, but we also make fun of like Down syndrome people for like well like. Yeah, yeah on that one. one from Twin Peaks. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I get you can't you can't tell people Love it. about this. It's great. I fucking really I really I'm enjoy being in Florida. Really enjoy it. Florida's good. I'll be down. I think I'll be down there uh in about a year and a half. I got left, then I'll be down in Florida. And the thing is, my mates are always like, oh, God. Like, I've got a couple of mates that aren't the best looking, to be completely honest with you. And they're like, oh, God, I need to come to America with you. And I'm like, yeah, but it, look, yes, they like English people. But you understand that, like, okay, the bar, bar, the girl behind the bar in Twin Peaks, that was different. She heard me on the phone. The one that come and sat next to me at the pool, she didn't know I was English. Do you know what I mean? I was like, like um, yeah, but you're, America, ja you're jacked. <laughs> yeah, but birds in America are a lot more. They're a lot more fucking what you might call it. Um, Superficial. Forward. Yeah, girl, American girls are forward. They're more forward than boys. Um, than American than boys are. <laughs> <laughs> they're more. They're more. They're, they're more forward to boys than they, than English girls are. Like an English an English girl would never, would never. Just walk up and start chatting to a dude, mate. Like, like I, I can't even think of an occasion when that's happened. They just wouldn't. <laughs> How come? Because they're just not like that. Do you know what I mean? They're just not. But American so what girls. Do they, like, what do they do when they want a guy to hit on them? Well, English girls. Yeah. Stand there and look pretty, and like they'll smile at you, and not like, just like give you the odd eye now and again. Oh. Like American. And American that, that's when yeah, you know like, it's okay to approach. Yeah, yeah, like oh. an American girl will just blatantly fucking like make it like, oh, I like you. What are you saying? Do you know, like, not those words. Yeah, because there's, there's a different, they're, Americans are on, di I, I know what you're talking about. They're on different like time frames. They're like, if I fucking wait this out, some other chick's gonna fucking grab up. Yeah, there's they're more like, competition they're, here. They're, yeah, they're like, fuck that shit. Like, they're gonna, yeah, they're a little bit more competitive. Yeah. So they don't want to sit there and, and bat your eyes at some at you while some other girl just comes over and steals you because they're sitting there fucking playing coy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that shit. Mm. I'm going to pillage her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Choka? I hope you do, and that can be your reason why you're not coming to meet all three of us and hang out I'm with not, them. I didn't, say I'm not. I didn't say I'm not. I'm just saying it's it's like... The thing is, I know you're not. You're gonna go bang this chick that catches sharks. Go, go have fun. Not just sharks. All, all manners. All manner of fish. She, she's got like photos. Yeah, of like the British fish. ones. Yeah, no, yeah. British ones don't do that. English all girls don't be able No, to that. you, you, you're the no. British one. <laughs> she's all in in a crack in this one. Yeah, she. Look, look, look. I'll show you. Oh, we've seen you sent us plenty of pictures of her. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah you're in the group chat. Yeah, the best thing is when you right. catch when you catch choke out, you catch three or four other things as well. That's the best. Yeah, <laughs> you've got great tits as well, man. Like, like I mean, great tits. 
Yeah, she looked good. She looked good. But... I like that a lot. I like that a lot. She's on par with you, actually, Anna. She's got huh? really good boobs. I said she's on par with you. She's got really good boobs. You've never uh, seen my boobs. Yeah, but you can tell Anna. Do you know what I mean? You can like yeah, you're you aware look. that every single person in this chat and who interacts with you can see that you've got decent tits. Thank you don't you. have to actually you don't have to actually see them. See them. It's like in the dude. If like a dude wears grey sweatpants. Oh, those are great. Do you know I mean, what I mean? Yeah, girl, no, grey pants. It's amazing. Yeah. I've I've not seen his dick, but I can see that you've got a decent dick. It's the same you know thing. The same the thing. Outline of it. Oh my yeah, god! Exactly. I just wore like gray shorts today, and they weren't sweatpants, but they were a nice material. And I was like, I like what you're wearing today. And he looked at me, and he's like tilted his head, and he's like, he realized what I was, what I meant, and he's like, oh my god! I was like, I'm gonna buy yeah, you, you more. Yeah, you can see the sausage factory. It's great. That's it. Uh, I always wear gray sweatpants on the plane, gray or black. You gotta right. let them know. Well, what time is in the chat. We've seen Cecil's dick and Anna's teeth. When have you seen my dick? My dick has been in my pants, honey. <laughs> Wait, Cecil, was it when you did like the birthing position? <laughs> oh my god. I have never yeah. shown my penis. Hey, well, what day is it today? Is this the Jack show? Almost. Oh, gym picture. Okay, maybe, <clears throat> maybe at the gym. I do take my dick out at the gym. <laughs> for all best of the, to, the elderly. For it, best place for it. Hmm? Really oh, cat <laughs> we saw the outline. You're a horn dog. Shit. <laughs> uh, you reviewed it on Post Kangs? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, mm. Odin's Eye. Anna, I saw you far in Erzin Town. Gross. What? I saw you far in Erzin Town. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Am I, am I reading this wrong? Choke out, you read it. Maybe it's got to be said in your. Anna, mind. I saw your foreign earth in town. Gross. I think I would, you need to super chat again with what you really meant. Because <laughs> we have no fucking idea, man. It's, yeah, it's, uh, Anna, I saw your foreign. What's an earth in town? town? Is that, a, is, that a, is that a word for a cunt or something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, a pussy. Sorry. Furin, maybe furin. foreign ass. Ass. I don't know. Hold on. I'll get back to it. Thank you, Anna. Uh, K to the Swiss was happy you pronounced his name. You're welcome. Do I got to move to Korea to get Anna's <clears throat> calendar? Patrick T. Did you not send Patrick T his calendar? I thought I did, but apparently not. I must have not gotten to it yet. So, Patrick, what I do is I have to go through one tier at a time. And so I did all of the tiers that, like, were smaller. And so I, I'm doing the main tier right now. How Patrick, many, I'm... How many left? How many have left to do? I'm actually not even... half. Well, I'm over halfway, actually. I lied. Let me see. So out of... Let me clear all of this real fast. Okay. Well, you could bump him to the final line. It's Patrick T. I have 439 orders left to go. Jeez. Let me find Patrick. Cam Ball for 999 says Darth Jar Jar versus Yoda would have been nuts. George pussied out. Best idea that never was. I agree. He no. pussied out. That would have been amazing if Jar Jar was the bad guy. Really would have been great. Such a fucking epic fail to, for him. It would have been him. awful. No, it wouldn't have. No, it would have been great. Sorry, what was it? Uh, what do you mean? I I missed your super chat reading. Uh, if, if George stuck with the Darth Jar Jar, where Jar Jar was a Sith the whole time, I think that would have been great. I oh, honestly, 
I really Patrick, do. I see why. It's because you ordered a secret tier and I haven't gotten to those yet. So I apologize. Uh, so he's getting punished for spending more money. He spent less money for more product. It's just the secret tier. Yeah. So he signed up secretly. Well, his tears are not secret now. He's crying for his calendar. Please. He is. I'm sorry. Uh, QC says it's time Chokeout gets promoted to major. I think he I think was. He was major for a while. He he got demoted. Or he just okay. likes Captain better. Odin's eye. Let's see. I saw you far and far in, in town. You read this one. Well, we're still yeah, trying to figure. We're trying to, yeah, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Trying to decode it. Yeah, far, we saw you foreigner. Er, I don't know what the fuck. We saw you foreigners in town. Gross. Hmm. We're, We're in the, the same, same cow lady. Oh, he saw you in town, and he said oh. he saw you in town in the same area. And Why didn't you say hi to me? And you're gross. Gross. Wait, hold on. Where were we? Oh, I've seen Anna in person. She's not. Gro she's lovely. Don't. You're, you're not gross. <laughs> you're gross on air. You're not actually gross in person. You've dyed your hair really black. No, it's, oh, it just maybe. looks darker right now because my my main light is off, so I only have the ring light and the backlight. But it's it's brown. It's, really, it looks black. No. Oh, I've been named Rear Admiral. <laughs> Simp mu oh my god Simp much by god I give Anna a compliment once every Four months and fucking Immediately Well no so I, not only that Cecil So I was reading the comments on the last Jack show and apparent Like I'm talking and interacting With you guys the entire time There's just sometimes I'm not talking Because you're talking They're like low effort Anna da, 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 da. I'm like I powered through my pain I stayed until the very end I thought it was funny how me and John just left. And they're like, F Anna. Anna sucks. Anna never talks. Anna was just playing a game with Yellow Flash. And I'm like, Flash only played like three rounds. And the last hour was just me and Rhino and Brutus. And I was like, what on earth is going on? Everyone's mad. Anyways. I don't know. I don't know. If this I'm is mad. I don't know if this is for me or for you, but you know why your eyes are brown? Because you're full of shit. That's you. My well, eyes I've got blue and green eyes. That's not me. Mm -hmm. Anna sucks. Thank you. <laughs> he just appreciates it, though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Odin's eye. I've seen you both. Not saying where. Being an ass. Just know that there are lots of weirdos online. Choke out. Missed you, pal. Oh, thank you. Thank okay. you. I feel like I've been absent. You have. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, it's been a while. Not had links. Fucking been put in the corner. I always send you the link. You do, Anna. You do. I was I was left out on on the cold. Oh no, but I, I didn't know because I sent I put it in literally a, a room called plus choke out. I did do that. I just didn't think that, I forgot that you were off Twitter. That it's was, okay, it's not that deep. I don't care. I put it in there tonight for you. You did? <laughs> I what, did. What, on, on, in, on Instagram, yeah. Yeah, because I, I didn't honestly I, I didn't I forgot last week. I didn't. Fucking. My son said, "When are you going on the internet with your with your comic friends?" I said, and they're, they're, he just started crying. Said, I don't know, son. I've been abandoned. Why, Papa? Why? I've abandoned my boy. <laughs> uh, being a simp is in your DNA, Cecil. Oh my god, what did I say? Anna looks lovely in person. That's what I said. Oh. Jesus Christ. All right. I'm gonna go back on my diet this week. But I've eaten some shit, man, these past 10 days. Hey Cecil, you ready to get completely destroyed at this pizza eating contest? Um I'm I don't know. It depends. 
Did you know Ethan said him and his dad are gonna do it? <laughs> what size? What size pizza is it? What? What? What is it from the same pizza place? Was it the same? Sixteen like, inch. Sixteen inch. Sixteen inch. But I don't think. How big is the Domino's large? Oh, I'll, eat a, I'll eat a large <laughs> Domino's pizza in fucking minutes. Like the whole thing, absolutely no problem. <laughs> An emotional slave to Anna. What does that even mean? I don't even know. That is such an awesome sentence, though. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Cecil Let is now an emotion. It sounds like honestly like a Star Trek episode. Somebody said Cecil is very familiar with the 16 inch. <laughs> Are you? No. Oh. 16 inch pizza is it for children. That's what I said. I usually eat a 20 inch pizza. I told my doctor I want to give my my girlfriend twelve hard inches. He said, "Fuck her, fuck her three times." Oh. That's uh, Odin's eye said, "Sure, if I ski like a zodiac, but mushrooms." Oh my god! Whoa. Speaking of like a yes. foot long, so I walked past a subway and they now have a foot long cookie. And I was like, I want that to be our challenge. Who can eat the cookie first? Oh, with sweets, I win. Sweets I destroy. Like I literally have no. You are time. fat, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, Anna is not gross. You. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what I said. Anna is not gross. Fucking. <laughs> All right, the fucking pig. Hey, was Chrissy just joking, or did her water really break? What I saw. Tweet. Happened, what the fuck happened to her dad? Is that is that true? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, that's, that's terrible, man. And Henderson yeah. out in Nevada, in Vegas. That's where I used to live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Well, because so Frank called me the day after because he, I he needed me to host Simpcast. He texted me. He's like, "There's an emergency. It's about Chrissy." And he's like, "It's not about the baby." And I was like. Oh God! What could it possibly be? And then he he told me, and I was like, "Fuck!" So yeah, that's fucking horrible, man. Yeah, and she had, like just mended her relationship with him too, and they were on good terms. I mean, at least that. But yeah. the whole situation fucking sucks. It was a weird thing. Like they really like bonded again after years after the mom died, and it's very. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know right away. I, I, I know I found out a while afterwards. But uh, she, when she told me, she thought she was talking to me about it, like she told me, and she's like, "I thought you knew." And I was like, "I didn't know." Yeah, no, that's that's not fucking that's horrible. Yeah, it was man. pretty. It was pretty fucking. Well, his girlfriend almost died too. So the guy shot the dad, and then because she was, I guess, standing kind of behind him, she got shot too. But I mean, she's like seventy-seven years old, and you know, she's getting all... She, I think it only got in her arm. She's a pensioner. Not, not, oh, no. They're, yeah, they're, these are people... Yeah, they're that are, old. They got... They blew it. They shot him in the head, right? It's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, was it, what, like a street robbery or something? Like in the... Uh, there's... I, I don't want to say. There, there's more to it than that, but... Okay. It was like a parking garage. Yeah, then, yeah. They're never gonna... It's, it's crazy. It's fucking... Shit, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, really awful, really awful. But yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's 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 a really rough thing to deal with, especially like in the middle of a pregnancy, right? I was just worried because she was so early on. I was stressed out for her because I'm like, fuck, what if she gets too stressed out and like has a miscarriage? Yeah, you know, like that's terrible. I think she even did. I think she like did a show the night she found out, which was crazy because she had a show scheduled and she just didn't want to. No, she canceled the show. Remember, she left. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She had to fly immediately out. So crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's really like one of the most impressive people I've met in the last few years. Just like her worth work ethic and just the energy. She has insane energy and just like. There's no quitting her and like uh yeah, Chris is a good girl. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna be hosting uh her show for her a couple times during her pregnancy leave uh, at Compound Media. 
So I'll be, uh, I'll announce that. See if you guys can join up. Uh, I was on, I was on with Gino Bisconti today, and holy smokes, I, I forget the language you're allowed to use on that channel. But I even I was kind of glad I had mask on. Uh, uh, pregnant, relax, dude. What is? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Years trying to be fine. Maybe one day she'll make it. Jesus Christ. Look at Rakita's show. That's horror. What's going on with Rakita? I don't know. Love saying his name. Who, Gino? What's Rakita up to? Why is he copying loads of fucking shit? I saw. I saw. I don't, I don't know. The, I, the last time I talked to him was before the wedding. And then I asked him to come on a Jack show and he <laughs> hasn't responded. So I don't know what's going on with him. The last time I saw him was I was in Tennessee with Juju. We went and met up with him and uh, he looks sick. Yeah, I saw a picture of him and people were saying he looks sick. He looked fine when I saw him like in person. But uh, I think he's getting well, invited to Tennessee. I don't know if he's having health problems or anything. I mean, I'm not like that close to him where he'd pick up the phone or anything, but uh He's Pastor Flash says he's sick and not doing as many shows. Yeah, um, I don't You're know. I'll, I'll reach out to him tomorrow and see how he's doing. Uh, liver problems? I hope not. With the no. amount that he drinks, I'm not shocked, but huh. I hope he's okay. It, it's well, from gay, gay sex and alcoholism. Okay, good. Oh, um, there we go. I like, was going to think like maybe it was something to do with like having five kids and you yeah. know having well, a job. I, I was oh, more thinking what like, uh, Coram was thinking to be honest. If like he's visiting five kids would be so fucking stressful. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> listen, booze is simple. If, I'm just hoping he doesn't have cancer or something like that. I, I mean, I don't like, no, I don't, I don't know. That yeah. got dark really quickly. So you see. Uh, <laughs> Well, Bruce thinks it's AIDS. Oh, okay. Um, well, you could live forever with AIDS. Nowadays, at least. Yeah, they got the drugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm shocked Anna isn't dead from her diet. So I always am. Mm. Uh, he, no, I saw when I saw him in Tennessee, he was fine, man. He was like full of life and fucking whatever. He seems fine every time I've seen him, but. No, I've seen people posting pictures online, and he looked well, he looks drained. Again, yeah. he's got five children. No, but like, listen, I I mean, I don't want to joke around with it because, listen, I had a brother who, you know, found out he had cancer and was dead eight months later. You know, it's like that's how quick shit. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. I hope he's not actually sick. So I don't want to make fun. Mm. I didn't. Ricky has cancer, according to Cecil. No, I don't know that, but I mean, I don't know. Like it, like listen, we're all human. Shit happens, so I don't know if he's actually sick or if he's just like strung out from you know partying too much. Like one thing's bad and one thing's you know awful. You know the differences. You fucking party too much. You're drinking too much. You just stop for a few months and you're good. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, what I mean, do. that's fine. He still said Nick has cancer. I didn't. I just don't want to make goof on him for, you know, and then find out he is actually sick. I don't do uh, <laughs> Everybody spread the place. <laughs> Cecil says Nick has cancer. I didn't ever said that. I just don't want to like speculate and like. Oh, it says goof. he's fighting legal issues. Oh, yeah, right. that one guy's. Doing him or something. As I keep seeing it in the chat. Oi, you lot, fucking hell. Oi, oi, fucking you lot. That that Diddy shit is wild, man. Oi, he's fucked. He's absolutely fucked. I keep seeing pe a few people have mentioned it in the chat. That's all just like. What? P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Oh, P. Diddy. Ah, he's in so much trouble. What's up? Listen, we were talking about this on Camelot show earlier, and uh, basically, I'm like, he's so protected, 
I mean, this guy is a guy who knows the Obamas. He's had politicians at these parties. Like, he is almost untouchable. For them to raid his house means something awful went down. Like, something that was beyond them being able to protect him anymore. You know what I mean? Like, because he's normally, like, just off limits. Like, he, like I said, he's ha- he's friends with the Obamas. He's He's a billionaire. His friends, Jay Z, is another bill. These are people that are protected on levels that we don't even fucking understand. They could. So I don't. I don't know what happened. No, we don't either. But the fact that they had Homeland Security raiding all of his houses at once means something bad happened. Like it, not normal shit where you and I would be raided. He could get away with that. It had to be like off the wall. You know, I mean, we, and we don't haven't heard what the fuck it is yet. But it he apparently, he was trying to bang Bieber when he was a child. Yeah, I saw dude, all those videos. Wait, that come who? Out, really, Bieber. Ew. It's, oh, he's getting like he's been open. It's been like an open secret that he's gay for fucking for years, isn't it? But like fucking. Yeah, dude. I I have a friend who I was saying this on Camelot show. I have a friend who, in like I don't know, early maybe two thousand six around there. I had a conversation with him and he did a lot of stuff where, uh, you know, party planning and stuff like that in Manhattan and just knew all these guys. And he said to me, he's like, if you knew how many of the top rappers, he's like the top, top dudes, like the top are gay. You you, you would fucking, you, you wouldn't believe me. He's like, what these guys are up to. He's like the biggest names in the rap industry are just like he's like off the wall like going crazy with like boys and and i was like he's like i cannot name a name but he's like whoever the fuck you're thinking of right now yes <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like all right and that stuck with me and now like now i remember that conversation like fucking because it's jay-z it's 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 fucking diddy it's like, all oh, these I guys, see. I was like, that's who I was thinking of. I was like, Jay Z and Diddy, and he's just, I didn't, you know, I know he's like, I'm not gonna say, you know. I know for a fact I've told you this before. Like, my fucking one of my best mates, his his brother got married, and we all went to the wedding because we we're all we we're all fucking mates. It's my 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 kids god my kids godfather's brother, and his his wife, her brother works he's really high up in fucking like the movie industry over here though like they, they him and his crew build sets they did all the sets for the fucking for the the new star wars the first one with ray the fucking mm-hmm. what was the first one the the, the basically the remake of the new one. yeah the force awakens and fucking because he was telling us stuff that was in that movie like that they had seen that did actually happen but anyway he was telling us about stuff like that as well about his like yeah all the people that they know like that are gay and shit and like there was common ones that everyone knew like tom cruise now he was telling it he said that tom cruise has had the same fucking boyfriend for over 10 years oh I'm not sure. yeah and then at george clooney that george clooney was gay and fucking he was telling us all these stories i, was, I told you before and then he told about when daniel craig went to get the watches and he said it was like, I can't remember the company, but like a super high-end watch company. And he said they had a box, like about five watches in. And like he said to them, like basically to choose one. And he said that Daniel Craig just said, oh, thank you. Picked up that entire box and just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling us some fucking mad stories. And he was saying the same shit. Like, yeah, this dude's I gay. I heard Daniel oh, Craig is gay, too. Gay. Huh? I heard Daniel Craig's gay. Oh, I, I, he didn't say Daniel Craig was gay, but he was. I've he heard was that though. You, Jackman, Dan Craig. I mean, yeah. they played together, and people were said in New York, and they were people were saying like uh, they were caught like a few times hooking up and shit. But uh, if I was super famous and an actor, I'd never think. You know what I mean? I'd just never look at any sort of male. I just, oh my god, I'd become a super whore. Yeah, but like you're, you're listen, you're you you like what you like, you know what I mean? Like you're not convinced, like wait, my did son, Jack, my, my did, son... get divorced? did he get divorced? Jack are you Jackman? I'm yeah, not sure. They're getting divorced, him and Deb. 
Ah. Yeah, that's because listen, this is the other thing. This is the other thing that this dude, my my mates, my my mates, fucking brother-in-law, if that's what you want to call him, he was telling us. He said that they get they get married for, and it's like a contract that lasts a certain amount of years. And he was saying about Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. He says it's, it's a certain amount of time, and then they'll get divorced. And it's just like like you said before, it's like a beard, isn't it? That's what. I was just like fucking hell. That's crazy. He's like, yeah, they're, they're all at it. What a life. Dude. Yeah, it's... um, like it, it, with I have a feeling like you, Jackman, he's like a decent guy. Um, he's friends with somebody in my neighborhood. Like, I think a lot of these guys, they want the family, they want the kids, but they're gay, and they just meet somebody that they have like basically a business arrangement with. He probably loves his wife, like, as a person, their friend. Yeah. But, yeah, you know mm. what I mean? It's like, but he's gay, and she's like, that's cool, and, like, we'll raise our kids, and you could have a family because he wanted that. But, like, he, he seemed, but, like, I remember because I grew up in New York, and, and you, Jackman, was a big Broadway star. Like, big, big, and I've done this before on this stream, you know, but uh, I remember when they announced in 2000, like. Well, Cecil. Look who was casting that movie. It was I Brian know, Singer. But I mean, when like for me, I would know any New Yorker in the 90s knew who Hugh Jackman was or in the 2000 at the time because he was all over billboards and he's just so flamboyant. He was like always like over the top, and you're like, oh, this is a gay Broadway guy. Like he's but he is super talented, like song, dance, everything. He could do everything. And uh but they usually like, can be gays. Yeah, but when they're like, yo, oh, he's uh he's gonna be fucking Wolverine as a comic fan, I was like, this wait, wait, because I knew who the fuck he was from being in New York. I'm like, this fucking guy's gonna be and listen, he was a great Wolverine. Let, let's be honest, but this is what how you know, most New Yorkers knew him before. He Wolverine. was a very good Wolverine, definitely. Well, I don't know the actor's name, but look at the actor that played Niles in Frasier. He's gay. And he's because, oh, gay. oh, really? Had to get out of town. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> no, he's obviously gay. Like. Yeah, but he loves Daphne. All right, this is how most New York, like, I know not this story again. I get it. But honestly, I was. I was so upset when I heard he was going to be Wolverine because this is what I knew of him. But he, uh, in all fairness, he was a great Wolverine. Whoa, whoa, am I, baby? Oh am my I God. Me, I go to Rio. Janeiro, Rio. Miami, yo. I go out and then I have to do the samba. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Dude, I don't I don't want to see it anymore. Stop. Yeah, I don't want to see it anymore, Cecil. Stop it. <laughs> oh but my god. Is... <laughs> this is gayer than you are. But this is what I was like. I was so upset. I was like, what? That guy? It's gonna be fucking Wolverine. Like I was like, what in his defense? Yeah, he's gonna be fucking Wolverine. That's what gonna see he's gonna be the new James Bond. Oh yeah, I'm so disappointed. No doubt he kills franchises. That actor that's gonna play James Bond. I've only ever seen him in that bullet. No, 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 joke out. That that's the thing. You think you've only seen him in Bullet Train. You have seen him in so many movies. He was the main he's kick ass. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. yeah, he is kick ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Was, Not only that, out. he has choke out. He has been more superheroes than anyone else. He was and he killed it. Yeah. He was Not in a good way. Hang on, kick ass was all right though. He was no, good. Kick -Ass, the first one was all right, but oh. Joe God, he has been in so many movies and they all end up being failures. Like maybe he's got one or two hits. And the only reason he was good in Bullet Train was one, it was really well written. And it's like the entire cast was good. By the way, I didn't even realize that was him until people. Choke said out. Look up his wife. Look up yeah, him and his yeah, wife. 
Fuck me, she's fucking terrible. <laughs> Was this what it was like to be in Brazil, Anna? No. Yeah, this is awful, man. I'm just picturing him in the Wolverine outfit doing this. By the way, this is not even close to his gayest routine. Like, this, that is butch. It's quite disturbing. Well, the, the guy that's playing James Bond, it's actually very similar. So Hugh Jackman married his like mentor lady, and the guy that played Kickass married his mentor lady. Yeah, she groomed him. He was eighteen roles. years old. Yeah, well, she can get him all the roles. She knows everyone. Wait. Yeah, but that fucking pussy's oh the wear and tear on that's going to be awful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, do you want to see? Do you want to see uh, you, Jackman, coming out on a camera? No, no, I don't. I don't want to see anymore. Stop! Oh my god! When you were a kid, did you ever dream of coming to New York? Gonna want more? I don't. Yeah, he was hundred percent quick. You're just playing this so we'll think you're crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I hate you. I hate you so much, Cecil. How we doing downstairs? This is, Cecil, this is actually evil. I hate you. <laughs> Look at him just in pure joy at our pain. That's wild, man. <clears throat> like, he's super flamboyantly gay. Like, and that's why I was like, does anybody else, like, in the country know, like, who this guy is? Like, he's a super flamboyantly gay Broadway star. And I was like, oh, well. he did good. He did good. He was a good Wolverine. Great. Well, they were very, very good Wolverine. One hundred percent. But like, yeah. fucking Christ Almighty! <laughs> Great. Now I have eight. A... <laughs> 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 oh, this hurts my soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> fuck's sake I'm looking I, have, you, have they released any more trailers of the Deadpool Wolverine movie yet or I heard he's pissed because they cut a lot of the Wolverine stuff out that was like really like supposedly good like uh, that what's... just means that they'll have another cut of it hmm I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm for, uh, what's the Harry Potter kid's name? Radcliffe? Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. Cecil, no. Look up his gay shit. I don't, I don't give a shit. We no, were... see, Cecil, you want to talk about Hugh Jackman's gay shit? Look up Daniel Radcliffe when he was in like a drag movie. It doesn't matter what I'm, what, what, what Hugh Jackman proved is a gay dude can be Wolverine. It doesn't matter. It's Daniel fine. Radcliffe cannot be Wolverine. Daniel Radcliffe is five foot five, and he's what? jacked. He's ja he looks good. He he. Well, they well, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. They, they're trying to what? They're going to cast Daniel Radcliffe as Wolverine. He looks like fucking Wolverine. He, I think he'll be awesome. You know who Daniel Radcliffe looks like Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah. Oh, he's choke out. He yeah. is yoked, and he's like five foot four or five foot five, and he's yoked. He looks Patronus, like bub. Dude, no, no, dude. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. By the way, I've never watched a single Harry Potter movie. Not even none of them. See, not dude, that, why not? They're fucking brilliant. No, I have not nothing against it. I just, it's just not. It was never like something. Hey, I'm choke like, out. Do you know what house you're in? Who me? Yeah, mine. 
No, you know what I mean. In Harry Potter. No, how would I know that? It's not real. You take the test. You're British. All you Brits know this. You don't take a test, Danny. You wear a sorting hat. Everybody knows that. Well, the online sorting hat test. I'd like to think I'd be Slytherin. Okay. Daniel Radcliffe as Wolverine. No, this is fucking nonsense. Dude, he can do it. He's yoked. No, he can't see, so shut up. Look, come here. Come here. Hold on. Okay. I'm not, I'm Cecil's not... never Cecil, you've never seen him act before. What I'm saying no, is no, you're that's true, actor, that's true. No, no, that's I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying once Cecil sees him, he'll see he's not Wolverine. He likes yeah. to get on it as well. He, Cecil, there's like no fur there. He what's no, this meant to I, be? He's got fur. He's got some hair on him. He does not have enough to be Wolverine. I'm hairier than him. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> what are you doing? How come he's got so big? What's going on here? Harry Dude, Potter's he's, not he's, he's five foot five. I watched the Weird Al Yankovic uh, story where he played Weird Al, which is weird because Weird Al is like six something and he's like really, he's five three. Yeah, he's really small. He's such a he, perfect Wolverine. He's jacked. I think he'd be good. I'll, and you know what it is? I'm not tainted because it's true. I've never seen him in anything else. So he's not. A, have you seen the, the? Have you never seen the movie where he's a fucking corpse? No, I saw the. I saw the one movie where he was. There was a ghost in a house. It was a woman. In yeah, black. Oh, that's good. That's a good movie. The, the, that was the, good. The black, he was good. Is it the that? black, the black lady or something? Yeah, the woman in black. That was the only the movie yeah. I ever saw him in. That's decent. He's in a movie where he's on a fucking desert island with some dude, and he's a corpse. And like, oh, oh what's it called? Is it Swiss? Is it Swiss Army Man or something? It's Swiss Army, Army something. Man, yeah, that's that's quite good. Hang on, I need the toilet. Black, it was good. I'm looking at the dude. He's short and he's jacked. He's gonna bring a fan. He's gonna bring a huge fan base because he those movies were. I, I think this is the guy, man. This is the guy. Somebody said Anna could be a transgender Wolverine. I would I would pretend to be a man so I could play Wolverine. I'm not an actor, but uh that would be cool. And he was uh, listen, I I, really, I would be able to grow out all my fur. That'd be fun. I really enjoyed the uh, the Weird Al movie. Um it was very funny. Like it was just fucking Cecil, how come you've never seen Harry Potter? Um I, I just I don't know. It was like too whimsical. Like I don't. I didn't really care about. How would you know? I went to all. The, I went. I, I probably no one here Wait, has been Cecil. on. Cecil, Cecil, we Potter have ride. gone to. Yeah, I was about to say you and I have gone to Harry Potter land how many times together? I and I never. Times, many. Times. And I never knew that you never saw it. Oh my god! Why haven't you seen it? We waited for two hours for that fucking ride. For the motorcycle one. And you never told me you never saw it. Never saw it. We went at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my God. And I was like, no, there's no way that line is actually two hours long. And it actually was. Um. Yeah, never. I know. I, I just don't give a shit about like little kids doing magic. Why, why don't you watch it? You know, you and Juju, you guys are doing all the movie nights. Watch Harry Potter, there's seven of them or eight of them. Uh, yeah, because they split the last one in two. Cecil, just watch it. You didn't miss. I went to. I went to. I've probably been in Harry Potter land so many fucking times. Do you know how many times I went? I went with you a couple times, but I went like three times without you too. <laughs> I've been in that fucking. I've been on every Harry Potter ride. That whole part of the park is awesome. Never saw any of the movies. Cecil, you need to watch it. Just next time you and Juju do the, and that's perfect because there's eight movies, so you guys have a lot to go through. And it's not like it's just kids. There's a lot of really good actors in it. I, I'll, Alan I'll, Rickman, Gary Oldman. I have a uh, I have a free condo from Hilton in Orlando this summer. I haven't picked a date yet, so because uh, I have like a Hilton's rewards thing, and, oh, yeah. uh, they called me up and said I have like so I'm gonna get a condo there. And I'll take Juju. We'll go to we'll go 
Maybe we'll watch the movies before then. That's pretty optimistic. Well, what that will still be together? <laughs> yeah. You every, think she's still going to be insane? That. By the way, every I got Anna's calendar. Every page is like, "Hey, I hope this month is not the month she left you." <laughs> But here's the thing. There's she gonna hasn't be, come to her senses yet. But there's going to be the month where she does. And now I got to look at that shit of you just like mocking it for the whole rest of the year. And it's the, what the fuck? That's why you have a calendar that I didn't sign. Yeah. There you go. That's when you switch it out. <laughs> it's either that or you're just going to be so old. You're going to die or you're going to forget. I'm hoping for a lot of tears in that condition. Good. Oh, in that condo. Thank you, so. Yeah, Cecil's going to have like an epiphany watching Harry Potter and like change his whole outlook on life. Uh, somebody yeah, said Anna is never uh, in this good of a mood. What's going on? I had a two hour conversation just about Star Trek. That's all I need to put me in a good mood for the entire day. Oh, here's Daniel Radcliffe with a little hair on his chest. He's not as hairy as I am, Cecil. No, but he's not. He's He's got a little something. They could, you know. Listen, Someone said Anna got me. I did that too. No, Cecil, I have more hair than that. But he's a runt. And that's what, like, that's. I'm a runt too. But Wolverine's character Cecil, is a runt. I should not have more hair than Wolverine. The the whole if you read X Men from like I have, I he walks in and, and literally the bad, guys, the bad guys laugh at him. They're like, move it, run. No shit, he's he little like blood. a little Wolverine. He's, he's little tiny. like no. Well, I know, but he's a Wolverine. Is, well, well, Hugh Jackman is six foot one or six foot two. He's a big guy. I don't care, Cecil. This Daniel Radcliffe is not Wolverine. He would be not on a great says. Uh like Cecil, no one that like grew up watching Harry Potter will take him seriously as Wolverine. But I didn't grow up watching Harry Potter. I I know, but I Cecil I I think a lot of people will be excited because they did grow up in the Okay, hold on. Let can you put a poll in the chat or chat? Can you put a one if you think Daniel Radcliffe is gonna be great as Wolverine or two if you're like hell no? It'd be awful. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> It'll be awful. You don't know that. I do. I, here's a... The problem is, the problem is, he's Harry Potter, and it's it's as simple as that. Exactly. Uh, they said that said about about Heath Ledger and Michael Keaton. He could do it, man. He's a runt. I say Radcliffe. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. He could do it. He could get yoked. He puts on 20 pounds of muscle. Like he's already, sh you know, shredded. He just got a bit of, he's got to look a little more like sturdy, like a little wider. And he could do it. Cecil said, <laughs> that's cancer. I never said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who has cancer? I never said anybody does. Daniel Radcliffe. Cecil. Oh no! What's her name? Does the the uh, queen? The princess. Queen. Don't even get started. Chokot's upset about all this. No, not. I know. Kate. Kate should be. First of all, she should have been our queen. Second of all, like Donald Trump said it as well. It's like, how are people giving her shit for photoshopping a, a picture? Like everyone does that shit. Do you know what I mean? And like, like she. Like just, just all these lunatics making up all this. Oh, that wasn't really her with fucking William at this fucking. Michael. Yes, it was. You stupid cunt. Like what? What? Like what? Just leave her alone. You like her? Yeah, I don't think anybody's being me. Well, maybe they are, but I don't. I I didn't feel like. Well, see, so there was this whole conspiracy about how William had an affair with their friend Rose, and that Rose is pregnant with William's baby. So Kate had a mental breakdown, went into hiding. In reality, she's just found out that she has cancer and has been going through treatment. 
I, t I told Anna in on like we Anna and I were talking about it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I told her if if he if he did the dirt on her, the entire country would. Oh my god! Her. Yeah, I promise you, I they love her. Yeah. Her. Nobody's got right. problem with her. Nobody does really. Uh, well, if okay. he did what to his what his dad did to Diana to yeah. Kate, like everyone yeah, would turn yeah. on. And look, uh, someone just called yeah. her a lizard lady. No, no, Kate. No, you have to, you understand. Kate's from a normal background. She's not. She's not from royalty. Okay, that, like that's Diana. one of the reasons why people like her so much. She's like, okay, yeah, fair enough. It's like a, they're a well-to-do family, but they're not fucking stupid rich, or they're not like from a lineage of whatever. She's like a just. She's a regular fucking bird. Like, do you know, what I mean, people really like Kate. Good woman. Uh, Odin's I talking about Chrissy says I love her and I hate women comedian. Oh, no, Chrissy is such a, a sweetie pie. Uh, Odin's I again. Chrissy makes me laugh. Also, the phone autocorrect makes me look like so psycho. What the hell? Uh, thank you for the four ninety nine. By the way, uh, Sir Angus Fungus, did the guy who ate the other guy's train leg get cancer or? Superpowers did the guys who ate the other guy's train leg. This is cryptic. All of these have been cryptic. They have. I feel like I'm fucking high and I'm only drunk. Uh, did the guys who ate the other guy's train leg get cancer or superpowers? Train leg? Like, did they train leg? Or did they eat the guy's train leg? <laughs> did you train leg? I don't... Either way, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, um... They got cancer. I'm gonna answer. Who did? Well, I'm just gonna answer them. It's either oh, yeah, they, yeah. Or superpowers. I'm gonna go with cancer. Prince Charles has got cancer. cancer. Yeah. I don't... This, this question was cancer, so cancer... Mm -hmm. Ozhead says, I wish the sun would just explode already. You and me both. Don't we all? Let's go. I don't want to die like some bullshit. I want to go with everybody else. Yeah, all of us to get just all holding yeah. hands. I don't want I don't I don't want to have to go in the afterlife to know other people are having fun without me. You're all coming with me, motherfuckers. Uh yeah. Odin's eye painting my chaos spa marines choke out cheers. He's on acid or something tonight. Like no, yeah. no. Okay. Spa Marines. Is he on? Is he on about? Is he on about Chaos Space Marines? He's on about Space Marines. Painting my Chaos Space Marines. Oh, okay. What? Yeah, but what? 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 What chapter of Chaos are they? Uh, he said the uh, second chapter. No, just no, just, just no. Just, no, oh, there's, there's four, four kind, there's four chaos gods. Well, there's five, but it's four main ones. Street by guy. I like to think you, Jackman, as a sexy, hairy guy, not a twink. Thanks, Cecil. I hate you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Campbell for 1999 says everything Jar Jar did to not take him seriously would have been calculated to mislead everyone. Plus episode one, Jar Jar clearly feared him. People clearly, fe that's true. Episode two, he convinced the galaxy to put Pal Palpatine in charge. That's another, yeah, it would have been great. And that, that was Lucas's plan and he, and he bitched out and that would have been awesome. Well, even if you watch the clone wars, like the first couple of episodes with him doing stuff and that's where, if you've ever seen like the cartoon where he's got like the hood on and his eyes are all glowing because he does have Sith eyes. Yeah. That, I think it would have been awesome. I think that would have been, I hate when people fag out, like what, same thing happened to Ridley Scott with, um, with uh, Prometheus. Everybody hated Prometheus. So the follow up to Prometheus, he just changed it. And then, by the time the second one, the Covenant one came out, people kind of warmed to Prometheus and they were like, well, we actually wanted to see that story. And then they just gave the generic they Prometheus land on. Prometheus was all right. What? I love Prometheus. I, I'll, I'll die on it. I really, I, that's, that's maybe my favorite fucking alien story is Prometheus. Maybe. Don't be so stupid. Not kidding. I love it was that good. 
Have you seen? It, 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 I, I saw a trailer the other day for a new. Is it a show they're bringing out or a movie? Right, Rom- uh, Romulus or so. Rob, what was it called? Yeah, new one. But I mean, he he didn't follow up with with like he w- he just went back into a generic landing party gets alien for covenant and he really didn't follow like he he was going into some deep shit with prometheus and the audience rejected it but over time while they were making the second one they kind of warmed to it and were like you know what this is kind of cool there's some people hate it but but a lot of people did warm to it and were like all right let's see where they go with this and by that time he already changed course and was like oh fine you don't like it let's just pump out another fucking space you know spaceship lands and gets infected storylines now the, the second one wasn't too covenant wasn't bad either really I but, it was, it. but it was very formula it was the yeah. it was the aliens formula prometheus True. was a deviation from the form god bless you, yeah, uh, bless you. Uh, prometheus was a deviation from the formula and then covenant was like fine we'll go back to formula that's what you guys want that's what you get and i was like i didn't want the formula i wanted you to keep going off like you did with prometheus Hey, yeah, I need, I need to get going because I got calendars to pack, and then I need to go to bed so I can go to the post office in the morning before Jack show. But I read read your super chats. And- uh, I'll finish super chats and I'll cl- I'll close it up. I was about to close it up when you hopped in anyway. Uh, I know. A <laughs> Gab formerly Gex eight twelve says Anna's right. Graham Star Trek show is great. Watching from Twitter, and there was heaps of us there over one hundred eighty when I swapped to YouTube for chat. Awesome, good. Uh, I'll have to start watching. That's Wednesdays, right? Wednesdays at five p.m. Pacific time. Oi, did you have you have you watched the the uh, gentleman TV show yet? I'm 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 up to episode six. Fucking great, isn't it? Good, it's good. Yeah. Eat the fucking grain. Eat the fucking grain. Be a bear. Be a fucking bear. <laughs> I like it. I like the, the asshole brother. It's just like, oh my god, you just want to kill him. He just keeps. Yeah, that's a good actor when you just want to choke him out. You know, you're like, shut, stop. No, but you like him at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great movie, fucking great show. Good show, yeah. Uh, I like Guy Ritchie. The last one I saw the movie, I like The Covenant, which was a different. Uh, did you watch that one with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal? It was like a, a war movie, pretty good. I don't Not, know. It didn't, have, it didn't feel like a Guy Ritchie movie though. I'll tell you what I did watch just the other day, and I wanted to just sl- slice my own wrists wide open. Fucking the new Roadhouse remake. Oh, I won't do it. Listen, it's the. I I think I think that Conor McGregor could be quite possibly the worst actor I've ever seen in my life. Well, you gotta put that on the director. You know he's a goddamn boxer and a fighter. Like, you know what I mean? You have to. You have to like. You have to train that dude. You know, people people aren't natural actors. Like this dude's a okay, fight. Okay, I gotta go to bed. Love Bye. you guys. Bye. I'll see. You, I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow. oh, uh, I see this one, Crusader. Hey, if, I get, if I get the link, All right, hold on. We got one for Anna here. Hold on. Yeah, you'll yeah, get the it. Crusader Joe, Anna was spying on Ethan Fapping. I mean, E Fapping, Eric July earlier. She gave herself away. When pizza came out. I was there for a while. I was printing out labels and I had it on. And then I went and I packaged stuff and I came back to print out more labels. And he was still. On. No, I saw on um, John Joe. Ethan was like, Anna's always on other shows. She never comes on trash cast. I'm like, one, no links. Two, I was like, everything he was covering was like me and Eric on flash cast. So I'm like, I was on the screen, just not. Talking. It was like a video he was watching that I was in, but um, um, I I was going. My first plan for my Tuesday show was going to be me e fapping Ethan e fapping the Jack show. I was going to do a like, but 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 ended up doing you know Camelot show and other shit. But that was my idea because I only caught a little bit of the e fap, and he's mm-hmm. like, and Juju was there, and I was with family family. And uh, he w- w- was listening, and he's like, <laughs> and he was like, um, oh, he, he, Cecil faked that injury to get a nose job. And oh, yeah. And the, I was like, I was with people. 
Like <laughs> I was with a, I was with family members who were like I don't go skiing by myself. Like so th they were like laughing at that part. I was like, dude, I was like covered in blood on a fucking knocked out cold on the I I don't think it was like you also sent us pictures of it. I, I know, and he's like, uh I was like, what is he saying? Like well, and no, also the whole thing about how it's like Anna streaming with Flash, but nobody else. I'm like, it was a stream that I had planned out for, I, I don't know. know, like a week or two. And it was me and Rhino and Cabrutus. Flash only played like two or three rounds. And the last hour was just me, Rhino, and Cabrutus. You played Hell like, Diver oh, 2 yet, Anna? Yeah, yeah, that's what we, that's what we were playing. Great it's game, isn't it? It's fun. fun. <clears throat> I know. Even but but it was funny because like we're watching it and I'm just like I was you know I had some people there who know who about Cecil and the whole thing so they were just like he I think all right he was kidding I was all right I was like well no no he is kidding but I think sometimes the chat doesn't understand know, our know, humor. I was literally on I, no, I I was gonna do a stream where I read the comments because there's like people going I hate Anna I've always hated Anna Anna's terrible the best episode is with Donovan I'm like you do realize I introduced Donovan to everyone but you hate me I'm just like oh my god he what it's he crazy and then Ethan never said that which one is it he did say it he was <laughs> laughing I was like you think I would go through that many machinations, like you know, fake a goddamn, uh, go skiing, fake an injury? Oh my god! I was just like, I was, I was not, I was like fucking mm. nearly killed, and <laughs> I was like bleeding to death. Anyway, I, I was, I that that like angered me. I was like, oh my, I was like, what the fuck is he saying? Anyway, all right, you could go. I'll I'll read the rest of the super chats. Anyway. How many Thank do you have left? See you tomorrow. Chudu, Crusader Joe, can't believe you guys did this Thank to poor I, I thought she'd never fucking leave. Uh, Sir Angus Fungus, how do you not know <laughs> the Amtrak cannibal? I don't know about There was a cannibal on the train? Uh, train no cannibal. Hope. Your dark overlord commands you cast the spell. Jesus. Everybody's getting loony right now. It is uh, almost four o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to say, Captain Chokeout, thank you for hopping on. Good to see you again. No see problem. you tomorrow night. And, see you tomorrow uh, good luck with you good luck. If you don't come to Chicago to get laid with that chick or both of those chicks, I, you have no... Nothing to. I would love to meet you in person, but if if your choice is that or meeting me in person, go to Florida. <laughs> she lives, but she lives, but she lives in New York as well, though. So like, I'd be. I, 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 I've, already, I've already said about going to New York. All right, if she comes to New York, you know, come, we'll go meet up. She but, wants but, to leave. It's it's far left lunacy, though. She actually said that. She actually said she goes. I, I, I'm good. I'm going to move to West Palm full time because she goes. I'm New there. York, so I'm there, I'm there. But uh yeah, it's the, both of those chicks look fucking dynamite. So if it's hanging out with a bunch of nerds in Chicago at a Comic Con or fucking those two, you know. You I've got to do spread the, the look. <laughs> spread myself too thin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.